Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the midweek show live on Airliners Live. Hope you're doing well. Lots going on today, guys. We've already had a go around whilst we've been setting up. Uh, a member of the uh, audience came over and told us that he saw that. And um, winds are not too bad at the moment, guys. Uh, currently nine knots straight across the runway, a direct crosswind. But we are expecting throughout today's show for that to only increase. And uh, as we brace ourselves for Storm Agnes, which is just about to hit the UK, we'll be live until about 10 to 6 this evening. We're really going to push it. This is our last evening show um, of this summer season. Not that we've seen much of the summer. <laughs> and uh, with Storm Agnes inbound, guys, we'll push it. It should be a nice quick pack down today. So, yeah, 10 to 6, even 5 to 6, we may wrap up today. And uh, we are expecting the worst of the winds to start rolling in from about 4 p.m., we think. Is it me or is the deflection on that, that rudder just, like, a lot bigger than usual? Maybe yeah. it's just the angle, but it looks pretty wild from here. Yeah, it's down to... Uh, it's just been a direct crosswind, I think. It's blowing right against it. But welcome in, guys. Hope you're all having a great week so far. And uh, hopefully we're going to bring you an absolutely cracking show. We're both waterproofed up. I've got my waterproof coat, my gloves. We're going to be swapping over if Andy needs to at some point join the show today as well. And uh, as I say, guys, uh, we're looking forward to seeing some incredible pilot skills on display here on the final evening show here on Airliners Live before we switch back to an earlier schedule. We are thinking of uh, doing a show that starts about 11 and finishes about 2 or 3, guys, um, just to keep going for as long as we can for our American friends. And uh, we'll let you know more about that in the next week or so. Well, we'll have to let you know, I guess, before Wednesday. <laughs> First arrival of the day, not a bad one. In from Alicante, Jet 2, 757. Jeanette Cooper, hello, welcome. Frankie, what, welcome. What a aircraft to open the show as well. Iconic number as the channel just in the last hour or two hit 757,000 YouTube subscribers. Just pass in the chat, guys. What an incredible number that is. 757,000. Thank you so much, everyone. We 
<laughs> and it's a thumbs up from the captain. Video glitches again. A lot of video glitches, but we're completely stable here. And Andy, should we just bypass restream? Yeah, go on. Guys, are you, do you mind if we do a very, very quick restart? I don't want this to affect the rest of the show. We've got perfect connection here and perfect video. So, Twitch crew, if you're watching, you're going to have to switch over to YouTube. Search for Airliners Live on YouTube, guys. We're going to have to bypass you. Everybody else, can you stand by? Two or three minutes, guys. Mods, keep everybody happy. Don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back. Stand by. Yeah, just stay where you are. It will come back on. Yeah, same link. You don't need to click off. You don't need to do anything. Just stay exactly where you are, guys. Stand by. Okay, uh, we should be back, folks. Mod check. Yeah. We're going to just try uh, just routing direct to YouTube today, guys. Hopefully that uh, that resolves the issue. Thank you all for bearing with us while we did that. We didn't want to have that happening the whole show, did we? Yep, I'm getting 4K now as well, which is good. Awesome. Got an A320 with the uh, Shark Laton actually coming in next. And you were saying that uh, we just just uh, a couple of hours ago hit 757,000 subscribers, which uh, is uh, pretty pretty wild. And uh, yeah, it just happened just before the show today. All these milestones are just catching us off guard because it's just growing so fast. This aircraft coming in from Amsterdam. EasyJet A320. Yeah, looks like we're back on. Apologies for that, folks. Thank you for your patience on on that. Yeah, that's an A320, all right. 
Airbus's most popular airliner. And I think on deliveries, isn't it the most popular in the world at the moment? Uh, sorry, on orders, rather. The A320 family. Coming in from one of the shorter routes, Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. We've got over on uh, Terminal 1, the Emirates A380. Just commenting on the uh, tail, the rudder there, full left deflection, which means, um, well, I, I, as it's not got hydraulic power at the moment, uh, you can also just see the jet bridge on the left there retracting. Um, the actual uh, rudder itself is free to kind of get blown around. Big, heavy slab of metal of course but uh, when the wind is grow uh, blowing as ferociously as it is today and on a crosswind as well parallel to the uh, to the aircraft it's going to blow to the left there um, when the aircraft starts to start engines uh, that, that will get uh, hydraulic power and as a result it will uh, straighten up John Russell just said my telly's been on 720p the whole time I've just switched it to 4K and now I feel like it's there. How many shows have you been watching in 720p, wow. John? Because you're about to have a whole different experience, my wow. way. Wow. And uh, yes, chat, no Twitch today. Um, if anyone is from Twitch, please go into the Twitch chat. Drop the link to the stream in the Twitch chat. Encourage everybody over. We're just on YouTube today because we wanted to bypass Restream um, and uh, see if that fixes the issue with the glitching camera. I am aware of some sort of audio interference, guys. We don't know where that's coming from. Uh, I've got absolutely no idea, to be honest. Um, we have got one more audio cable we can try, if you would like. Yeah, let's see if it let's, persists. Because mods are messaging me as well, saying it's, it's there. I'll grab that cable just in case, guys, as well. Just one second. Yep. I'm glad you guys can hear it. All I can hear is <laughs> in my ears <laughs> from the wind. It is quite windy at the moment. There is a storm due in the next few hours. And um, some of the forecasts I've seen have been pretty wild. And pretty much a direct crosswind here at Manchester at some parts. So it could get pretty crazy. But some other forecasts don't say as uh, wild of a, a wind. So although right now it's pretty pretty choppy as you can probably hear on the mic uh, Sunday was pretty windy too but it was more consistent and as a result um, it wasn't as wild for the airliners, you know you find that when there's a nice consistent crosswind they're not having to sort of move the controls and stuff, they're just having to like learn the crosswind and fly with it whereas, whereas when it's quite gusty and variable then that is where it becomes more of a challenge for the pilots. Sounds like crickets, yeah. Okay, uh, mute your tellies, guys, in th and I'm just going to unplug the I'll cable. Just, I'll mute it on this, actually, so it doesn't actually... So it doesn't pop for them. Yeah, yeah, give me, give me a second, guys. Well, uh, we'll, well, let's just get everything fixed at once, shall we, so we can enjoy the show. Baltic A220, perfect time to get the audio back on as we may experience a nice Wookiee howl from the fairly modern 
Airbus airliner. And this is actually doing a flight on behalf of Eurowings. Coming in from Dusseldorf. And uh, Samantha Littleward, thank you very much for returning for 12 months. You've now got a red tail badge. Enjoy that. Thank you very much for the long-term support. Nice. Good job. And Nathan Jones, thank you very much for your six months of Airliners Live membership. Saying, I plan on popping over, but unfortunately I've caught COVID. I've got some treats being delivered to you guys via Deliveroo. What? I'll email you the code. No way. Eh? All right. Amazing. Is nice that, one, dude. Is that a thing? I don't know. I mean, it's never happened before. I no. guess we will, uh, we will find out. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate that. Is and it... uh, did I miss a 12 months? Lee Hale, I did. A full 12 months of Airliners Live membership. Thank you very much, Lee. Appreciate that, mate, as well. It's crazy. Yeah, quite a lot of people are catching COVID again at the moment, aren't they, guys? Oh, yeah. Apparently, I've heard a few people have got it. But, uh, yeah, it is just about to start raining here and the wind is picking up at Manchester Airport. We are expecting the worst of the winds to begin to hit us around 4 p.m., guys. Oh, wow. Are we prepared for that? We'll see. The gremlins have been out already. Jill saying me and Gordon have both got COVID. Oh, wow. You're joking, Jill. So you've come back off holiday with that, then? That is strange. Sorry to hear that, guys. I hope you uh, hope you're doing all right. And yeah, rest up. Definitely. You didn't just fancy an extra week off work, there, did you, Jill? <laughs> Come back off holiday, you thought, oh, some more, more week. <laughs> no, I'm sure you did. I hope you both uh, hope you both feeling well soon. And Audrey, thank you very much for gifting. And Airliners Live membership. One new member on today's show. Thank you very much, Ed. Thank you, Audrey. Very kind. Yeah, Joanna, I remember that snow day back on the mound. But I wouldn't have changed it for the world, though, because I think it kind of added to the experience. Yeah, I remember that one, too. That was last winter, wasn't it? Not, yeah. not winter just gone, but the winter before. before that's yeah. Right. We were kind of keeping our fingers crossed, weren't we, for another one of those... Yes. But um, we weren't we weren't so lucky, I'm afraid. Yeah, but hey, we are going into the colder months now. It's not till like, after the new year that you get the snow here, is it? We don't ever yeah. get snow in, like, November or really December. It's quite rare for us to get relatively bad snow at all, to I be know. honest, isn't it? Yeah. At least something that would sort of ground the airport to a halt a little bit. But, this, uh, this part of Manchester is not so bad, is it? But when you go the other side, especially like Oldham, Way. Oldham, yeah, exactly that yeah. that neighbourhood, it gets like wild. Yeah, it's nuts, absolutely nuts. Joan, thank you very much, Joan, kicking the show off with five airliners live, gifted memberships, putting us to six brand new members on today's show. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. That's really kind. Yeah. So, uh, who said it there in the chat? Um, oh, where's it gone? That message. Um, Neve saying that ATC in Dublin are busy today. Yes, yeah, so this storm is coming from the Atlantic and it's already hit Ireland and is now transiting over to, uh, you know, Britain. It's on the way. Yeah, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to slap Manchester at some point as well. So it might happen during the, str the streams today. I've, I've seen mixed forecasts. Some saying, like Martin saying, it could start as early as four, maybe even three. It's definitely picking up, though. I mean, you can hear the wind already. And the thing is, guys, it is a direct crosswind as well. Oh, yes. Now, it is coming um, It is coming from the wrong side, though, for it to be massively turbulent from the terminals. Yeah. Um, but I think it is, uh, it is going to be one for us to keep an eye on, especially on the approaches. You can see there it's pretty gusty as well. So, yeah, uh, we'll see. Well, I I'm interested... The, the first forecasts I seen were on um, BBC Weather, which is never that reliable. BBC is useless. Yeah, otherwise. but that was saying like you know forty to fifty mile an hour winds, and that is just wild. Um, we use um, one called Windy.com, 
and they have a, a mobile app as well and uh, they're really good like yeah you know, they've been the best i've found yeah so far. it's very rare that they get it really wrong they're a bit more advanced like you can't it's it's not as easy just to get a, a default forecast but i prefer to like go into like even like the weather radar or you know the the wind or the gust forecast sam likes to look at the um oh what's it called the uh the the basically the the power energy of the clouds that could create a storm there's a there's an index for that someone in the chat will know straight yeah. away but like in like the states when i was visiting uh, the u.s like they prefer to use more like weather radars and stuff because when you look at a state like texas which is very flat and big you see these huge storm clouds from miles and miles away on the weather radar and that's kind of your heads up as to when to like watch out you know yeah whereas here in the uk the, the forecast is more what we look at isn't it and i don't know we don't really rely on the weather anyway we it's, yeah. if it's nice it's nice if it's bad it's bad but it's never that crazy random question but would you like an airliner's live livery made well Niels said that his friend was a professional livery designer oh yeah and he was going to get in touch with him and see if he could do one for us but we never heard anything back on that yeah. um but i would like to get one done um professionally and i think it'd be really cool but um if anyone knows anyone <laughs> feel free to uh feel free to put us in touch um, and Matt Smith, main man, hey, gifting an airliner's live membership. Thank you, Matt. Is this the first stream Matt's not been on for a while? Say, it feels a bit weird without you, here, Matt. Today, so. I know he's like the main guy now. And uh, I guess we can talk about Friday then. Yeah, speaking of Matt, yeah. Speaking of Matt Smith, ladies and gents, let's get some ten out of tens in the chat because since Matt and uh, Paul as well did the shows while we were away we have been absolutely inundated with messages and comments of people just saying how much they enjoyed it how nice it was it was great to have like a change of presenters and uh, matt did an absolutely incredible uh job on the camera and the commentary and everything like that so, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a little chat with Matt Smith, and following the incredible feedback from the community, folks, Matt Smith is going to be doing his own show, as and when he can, although more regularly rather than not, on Fridays, guys. So, Matt Smith Fridays are going to become a thing, and Matt's going to take control of the sticks. We are thinking of letting him do a 1080p stream rather than a 4K stream, just so that he can go anywhere around the airport and not struggle with the network. And um, Matt Smith Fridays are going to become a thing, guys, which is really cool. Whilst me and Andy are off, uh, we, we have Fridays and Saturdays off. And uh, it basically gives you guys another show in the week. It mixes things up, keeps it fresh, and uh, supports Matt as well, guys. So I'm really, uh, really hyped for that. Yeah, so um, let us know, Matt, if uh, there's uh, times that you're aiming for. But I think you're just like, going to aim for the usual sort of 10. Um, did I even see 9 a.m. start? But uh, again, like Martin said, it's not going to be a, a baked-in schedule stream. The guy is very busy. He, he works, you know, a job and has a family and things that, you know, so he can't be as committed as we are, for example. But uh, yeah. we all know the guy. He really does make an effort. And, you know, as was shown over the last few weeks, he's consistent and reliable and does a great job. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. And as I say, it gives you guys an extra bonus show a lot more regularly than we can offer them. And... Uh, on the days that Matt's not working on a Friday, he'll be going live for you guys. So, uh, yeah, really looking forward to that. That's like, yeah, that's bonus to what to what we're doing already. So, And then you'll still have Henry show, uh, usually. I think he's back this Saturday, you know, he did say. Is he? Yeah, even though he's flying back this week, later this week, uh, he's going to aim to do the Saturday show, which, I mean, <laughs> as someone who's witnessed jet lag <laughs> recently... Um, he's quite an ambitious guy to do that, but fair I mean, point. he's quite well travelled, isn't he? I think he's <laughs> yeah. used to yeah, used to doing all that. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to be enjoying that and keeping an eye on it. And I'm sure 
as and when available, maybe a model join Matt or something like that. And, uh, I mean, if we're not doing anything, maybe one of us would join Matt at one point as well. We don't know. We're just going to have to see. Yeah, I don't think I'm too busy this Friday, so I, I might even nip down uh, yeah. if I've got time. But I am tempted to kind of let Matt kind of find his wings as well, though, on it. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And just get settled in before I start bombarding him. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm looking forward to it, and I uh, hope you guys are uh, happy about that. I think it's going to be really cool. Can we be a guest on your show, Matt? Will you, will you, will you allow us, or is that, is that, is, that we, is that on no-go? <laughs> are people sick of us already? Next to land here at Manchester, Jet 2737 from Kalamata. And uh, we are keeping an eye on everything that's approaching today, folks. If you see anything interesting, feel free to uh, give us a heads up. Yeah, the A380 hasn't started to move yet. It's, it's running a little bit late, um, as always. <laughs> and uh, that's currently on stand. So my eye, I've got one eye on that. As soon as the beacon comes on, we'll uh, have a look. If you've got one eye on that and one on the approach... Uh you can get contact lenses to fix that. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, John Russell was saying earlier like about the, the 720 thing, because I, I kind of need glasses for like reading things that are far away. And I remember the first time I got glasses and I put them on, and I was like, wow, this is like when you, you set your YouTube to 1080p and it's been stuck on 480 the whole time, you know? Why? You've actually got bad eyes. Yeah, for... for it was mainly when I was in uni, and, like, I couldn't read the board for the life of me. Oh, right. Like, when it comes to driving, I'm just over the, like, over the, whatever you call it, like, threshold, so I'm fine. I don't need them, but, yeah, for, for reading smaller things, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's one thing I don't think... When I was a kid in school, and I'm sure they just did this to everybody, they tried to put a patch on my eye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you remember I think, that? I think I had that. And yeah. I just said, nah, you ain't putting that patch on my eye. <laughs> I didn't wear it. <laughs> I'm not having that. So, um, and I've had eye tests, and he said my vision's fine. Nice. So, I don't know why they wanted to put a patch on my eye, but... That's weird. Um, to be fair, though, because Jen's got quite bad eyesight. She's um, got quite strong um, contact lenses. Oh, does she? Yeah, and... Uh, she's due an eye test, and she asked me, and I said, Jen, I've not had an eye test in probably nine years yeah so I should probably go and have one done and, and check it it's like about contacts isn't it people could have like really strong contacts or glasses or whatever but because they're wearing the contacts you have no idea like yeah. it just looks regular hey Mel thanks very much for tuning in hello I don't think I could do contact lenses I don't know oh Jen's worn them that much so she's just used to them now yeah but um Jens wrote a really nice little introduction as well to the newsletter as well, guys, for this month. I, uh, I read it yesterday. And she said she's down for, like, doing a little intro each month of just basically saying this is what's in the newsletter, hope you're doing well, and this is what we've been up to kind of thing. Yeah. So that would be quite nice. And she's uh, wrote the first one. I was like, wow, that's actually pretty good. Do you want to write the whole newsletter? <laughs> <laughs> so um, that will be releasing on the first yes. uh, of the month. Uh, to be fair, though, we've literally not wrote any of the rest of it. But we, no, will, no. we will get it ready. But, um, yeah, folks, um, we have just passed 757,000 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. And to celebrate, we are doing a flash sale on our 757 LED table lamp, guys, which are absolutely awesome. Loads of you guys have got these. And for today only, we're selling them for an absolutely crazy price and really not making much on them at all for £7.57. We thought, you know what? What other number can we pick? And as I say, we're really not making much on them. But if you guys want to go ahead and grab yourself one while they're on the crazy price, that will finish um, at the end of the day today, folks. And uh, go and get yourselves one of them if you want. Yes, they are designed by us in-house, and they are obviously you support the channel with your purchase too. And they're like a holographic desk display. Look great on a on a shelf in a display cabinet in the office. Um, we have them, obviously. We you probably see them quite often in the Airliners Lounge videos. And they do, like, all different colours that you can charge, you know, you can run off USB power or batteries. They last quite a while on batteries as well. Uh, I'm yet to kill one on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, go and, go and order them. And, and they're in stock, of course, as well, so it's just quick shipping as well. Oh, really, Gemma? You had one of them eye patches as well, yeah. I was, I was really, like, self-conscious about it. And it was the same thing when I was... Um, 
younger because I've, I've got quite big front teeth. Everybody who's met me knows. And um, I was supposed to have one of those pallet brace things. And I didn't like school as it was. <laughs> okay. And then I got this and I couldn't speak. Oh. And I, I was um, doing the whole lisp thing and really struggling to speak. So I hid it under my bed and said that I'd lost it. <laughs> <laughs> and I never wore it. And my mum knew it was under my bed. Right. And uh, I'm pretty sure she found it yeah. and said, why is this under your bed? And uh, then I didn't wear it. And I never wore it. Yeah. My sister, on the other hand, just wore hers and her teeth are great now. But I didn't wear that and I didn't wear my eye patch. So I guess we'll find out in a few years' time whether it was to my detriment or not. <laughs> Living experiment. Andy Park, thank you very much, mate, for the very generous £7.57 donation, celebrating the 757k subs and saying, as promised, oh, God, you've, we've stuck a logo sticker to 26F of the 757. There's photos of my vandalism on your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I would like to say publicly that we do not condone doing that, but it's very funny, Andy. Thank you very much, dude. And uh, I wonder how long it'll stay there for is, uh, is the question, because I still... See photos popping up of that airliner's live sticker on the bus. Yes. So uh, that's quite funny, but thank you very much, Steve. It's a bit more that. subtle on a bus, whereas an airplane window, that sticker probably takes up a fair bit of it. Mm. Is it was it one of the car stickers or was it one of the uh, like the? No, one of the car stickers, mate. <laughs> Someone swaz the car sticker wow. on the bus. Wow. I'll have to look at them photos though, Andy, and the uh, the lounge. It's there. Funny that, isn't it? Yeah. Hayden say, make sure you get your eyes tested because it's quite an early sign of like different health things. Yeah, I need to get it done. I need to get it done. Good point. Jollop saying, uh, an eye patch was to correct a lazy eye. I never worn mine as a kid. Hmm. And now my vision's very poor in that eye. Right? Okay. Whoa. See, I, a... I'm all right. But maybe I'm just not old enough yet. Yeah. We'll see. We will see. Follow for more. Can you make the advert for the hologram a bit smaller? You can close it, Radio Shop. Just click the little three dots and close it. You don't have to leave it there the whole time. Just click the little three dots next to it and click close uh, or whatever the wording is for it. I can't remember. Dismiss, I think. Dismiss, yeah. That's the one. 500 likes already. Thank you very much, guys. Wow, yeah. A lot of viewers today as well. KLM Embraer just touching down in from Amsterdam. Lovely blue. The bluest thing you'll see in the sky today by the looks of it. We've already got a lot of rain coming in. Maybe some spray on the runway soon. Winds are still gusting straight across the runway. About 150 degrees. Hey up Mel, hope you're doing well. And welcome into the Airliners Live midweek show, guys, where the winds are due to pick up massively towards the end of the show. So yeah. uh, stick with the channel, get yourselves comfortable. Yeah, I, I need to check what's going on with this. Um... So what is this delivery? <laughs> <We've> <laughs> never, we've never had, I've not had an email. Oh, hold on. What's this customer message here? Nathan Jones. Here's your delivery code. What's, a What's deli he going to do? Is he just going to come to the... Like, how's he going to find us? Uh, what, what's a delivery code? Is that like a, an order reference? Is it? Well, yeah, it's like an order reference. I like. I, I never order food anymore. Like, Mate, I, me and Jen order from delivery quite a bit, but I'm just yeah. concerned. How's he going to know where we are? Did you, What was the description? Just yeah, the, like... The blokes Nathan, stood on did the you... Um, what's the crack? <laughs> <laughs> what's going to happen? Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. I just, I've just never had this happen before, so I don't know what to do. That's hilarious. You see a guy just wandering around, looking confused, <laughs> just grabbing. Well, that's it. He's got, I wonder if he's going to get charged for coming into the RVP. I know. He, well, I don't know. Has anyone ever delivered food to the RVP? It's probably not normal, because you actually have a cafe here, so it's not like people need food ordering. Unless it is the cafe. He is definitely going to get charged for parking, isn't he? Yeah, well, I haven't got any change to... Can we tip him on the app? Is that how we do it? No, we can't. 
Mate, this is going to be awkward. Let's just see. Like, guys, stay tuned. This is going to be weird. <laughs> and the RVP are just going to think we don't want anything from the cafe. Did I see that? Um, I don't know if he sorted it. Did anyone watch uh, Mac Aviation stream when he had the pizzas delivered on the... Uh, is, is yeah, marathon. Had, um, is it Domino's? Yeah, Domino's dropped off, didn't they? How does that? Did it like? Did he go up to Southside? <laughs> like, Just was, coming the to the <laughs> Yeah, the scooter driving up to Southside. No way. He'll drop it at the gate. But how do we know when he's at the gate? Like, is he going to shout? It's not not very close. Oi! Got a pizza for you. Mr. Paul Davies, thank you very much for gifting an Airliners Live membership. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Dave Morgan just sums it up. He says, Eric tried to get a pizza delivered to Southside. Nightmare. <laughs> what? I'm not I mean, surprised. It's not an easy address to deliver to, is it? Like, what do you even put? Like, the, the hill past the black cat next to the hill. <laughs> the crash gate. That gifted membership puts us to eight new members on today's show. Thank you, guys. Oh, you had to meet him at the end of the gate. Okay. I mean, that's what I expected. Did he get pineapple on the pizza? That's the question. Mate, if he did, I'm not getting him on this show again. Yeah, <laughs> he's banned. <laughs> right, let's have a look on the arrivals, shall we? Because that's kind of... So, yeah, as Martin said, like, the the winds will get really... Apparently, the storm will really hit us at, like, 4 p.m., which is only, like, an hour away, just yeah. over. And I thought... I was like, well, we'll be finished by then. But we're here till almost 6. So, wow, we're going to have a good... Fair bit of time getting blown around. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Keep an eye on it. And uh, as we said, guys, um, unfortunately, this is the last show where we can stay here till 6 p.m. because it then goes to 5 p.m. closing next month. So uh, we will be doing a show, but we'll be finishing about sort of between 2.30 and 3 p.m., I think. Yeah, I think the last sort of things you'd want to catch there is the, the A380, of course, which is like, as you can see, it's meant to be an hour ago, but it sort of goes out around about now. And of, uh, I think there's also the Virgin A350. Um, someone might be able to double-check that. I don't know what days they operate. Um, but well, it, it just be, went out before. Did it? Okay. So, yeah. So, obviously, if we were live earlier, we would have caught that. So, the A380 would be a nice... Uh, but then again, you know, at the end of October, don't we have daylight savings as well? Or is that during October? And that's going to mean the A380 is going to go out, I think, an hour before. Yeah, when does that kick in? So, daylight savings, is that an extra hour in bed? I think so, yeah. Is it? And I th think it means that all the movements are an hour earlier as well, which means... Okay, yeah. that's good. That's actually better then, isn't it? Yeah, this 380 won't be going out at this time. It'll be going out an hour before. Assuming it's on time. Thanks, guys, ordering those 757s. We've seen quite a lot of orders fly through. Oh, there's those. a guy downstairs for you, Martin. Go, go, go. Oh, what? No way. <laughs> <laughs> you actually... <laughs> <laughs> There's a bloke actually came here with a bag. Guys, what is going on? I wish we had the, the multicam set up now, but we don't, especially on windier days, we don't go out of our way to use them because everything just gets drenched. It gets more hassle than it's worth. <laughs> Good job we had the high vis on. Uh, Mate, the guy just comes straight to us. He's like, oh, it's great, this, isn't it? I was like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, did, I was like did you get in all right? I said, this has never happened before. I said, have you got something? He's like, oh, that's really cool. So the we've got a co-op bag here. It's a co-op bag, okay. The delivery, you can get groceries on it. It looks like it, yeah. Ah. I think Uber Eats does that from memory. <laughs> Let's have a look. I do wonder... Uh, what the guys on the gate are going to say when we leave in a bit. I say it's a shame we haven't got the multicam set up because this would have been interesting. Martin is now opening the bag. Who wants to put... So it's co-op, guys. Who wants to put a bet in the chat what's going to be inside the bag? There's quite a bit, to be fair. Is there? Thank you very much, Nathan, for sorting this, by the way. It's very, very kind of you. Oh, my days. Oh? Mate, 
This is God to. You need to get a picture of it all. What? So at least oh we can. My days. At least we can show people. What a nice guy. Mate, not only has he got some stuff, he's been super thoughtful as well. Ah. Oh. So. We got a nice selection of snacks here, guys. I suppose I could, like, show it off one thing, but it would be pretty whack if I turn the camera around. So, there's but some chocolate cornflake bites, millionaire bites, <laughs> right? Flapjacks. And then, um, for the non-dairy, all free from cookies, millionaire <laughs> bites, and nice. Rocky Road things. Mate, yo, Nathan, what a legend. Nice. Thank you very much, dude. That is very kind of you, mate. What a nice one. It's got some 10 out of 10s, Airlines Live Hearts, in the chat. That's very kind. That is, uh, that's very, very kind of you, mate. A lot of people put pork pies in the yeah, chat. I know. What's the pork pie, sorry? No, no, no. Uh, all, no just, all, uh, it was sweet treats. you got to oh. keep the energy up, you know what I mean? Thank you. That was so random. But that's very you. kind of you, mate. Appreciate that very much. Thank you very much, dude. Did you get a picture of that? Apparently, I've got a message from Seb on Discord. Let me check. Hold on. Just as this uh, Jat 2737 Boeing airliner touches down. He didn't ask me for the code either. Oh, right. This is. Um, very soon, Seb. So, in answer to your question, yes, we need to. We all need to get back on that, not just you, mate. Yes, we, we all need to be. Uh, Getting that finished. So I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow if you're available, mate. Just vacating here, two, three, right. Also at four o'clock as well, so just over an hour. They should be scaling down to single runway ops as well, so yes. we'll have all the action here on runway one. I mean, to be fair, we are kind of focusing on the rivals today, aren't we, anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it'd be nice to. I get think it'd be awesome to do that. Mate, I feel like before the cafe closes, we're going to have to get a nice coffee, Andy, to have with these, like, nice black coffee. That wouldn't be a bad show. Well, I'll have a... Do you do tea, do they? I do, do be, tea, yeah. I'd have a, just a black tea would be right, good. Right, I'll go and grab you a tea, and I'll yeah. grab me a coffee. I think, because last time, I'm sure they closed, didn't they, about three or four? Or yeah, I'm sure. BRB chat. Diet's gone, I know. Oh, wait, mate, that went a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> thing is, right, I've... Obviously, I was on that diet from April, and I'm basically still on it. But uh, certainly for the US, when I was over there, I kind of pushed it a little bit, shall we say, and enjoyed a bit of the local cuisine. Although, when you're in Texas, a lot of it's like meat anyway, like Texas barbecue is huge, and that's just meat. Um, but I... And Sam as well. Sam probably more than me. We love pumpkin pie and sweet potato pie as well. It's really nice. And you just don't get them in the UK. And pumpkin pie especially is god tier. And it's really big in the south of the US. And it's in season at the moment as well. So we're going to Walmart, going out, ordering pumpkin pie. 10 out of 10, guys. 10 out of 10. We managed to bring some uh, ingredients back. Uh, we had to do a bit of research about what we were allowed to bring back into the UK. Uh, and I think we've got some ingredients that we'll uh, be able to create our own in the kitchen. But yeah, I, and also like going to the US, I kind of just pigged out and haven't lost a lot of weight. I didn't really put much back on. I thought I would have been like, come back and <laughs> been back to where I started. But then again, we did sweat a lot. It was like 40 degrees Celsius every day, pretty much 100, 100 Fahrenheit plus. So, uh, yeah, it was uh, we probably sweated a lot of it off, to be fair. I feel like we had this pumpkin pie chat last year. Yeah, Mel, nothing changed. Well remembered. It's elite. I love how you guys remember that. <laughs> Wild. Better memory than me, for sure. So, yeah, the wind is getting pretty gnarly. Um, it's it, it's like raining at, like, a very small level, enough to just soak everything. 
with this uh, wind blowing directly into the camera. Got a Ryan M uh, Max 8200 going over to runway 2 at the moment. Like I said, just over an hour left of uh, dual runway operations at Manchester Airport. And I believe that current like, uh, schedule of dual runway ops versus single runway ops ends in like uh, the end of October. I, um, well, we used to rely heavily on uh, Alpha 5. Um, I'm rest in peace because he sadly passed away. Um, you know, I think it was last month or the month before. Uh, so sadly that public information isn't available anymore. Allegedly, we had a go-around just before the stream started. And shout-out to uh, a chap who goes by the name of Phoenix in the chat, uh, who's here with uh, um, his wife as well. And um, uh, her name's Chelsea, and it's her birthday today. So shout-out to Chelsea on her birthday, who actually came down to the RVP for, I think, for the first time, they said. Um, and, yeah, uh, shout-out to them. Could you pass that blue roll as well? As you guys seen then, the, the lens is a bit soggy. <laughs> and yeah, awesome. Uh, it's always awesome seeing some airliners live viewers at the RBP, whether you are regulars at the visitor park or you here for the first time. If you do see us, feel free to say hello. And, you know, we, we, we don't mind hanging out um, when we finish the shows. It's usually the best time because uh, usually when we're starting, we're obviously plugging things in and getting things online and stuff yeah nice cup of tea Thank I you changed my mind on the way there I said oh yeah you know I'll get a tea as well yeah yeah it's a bit comforting tea isn't it yeah it's a bit nicer isn't it yeah this weather so let's get me back online so I can see the lovely chat I see a Air Lingus A330 on the taxi out too I think that's the JFK service am I right yeah yeah, and people in the chat. Let's have a look on um, Windy right now. Let's have a look. Sorry, where, where the uh, the storm is. So, wind gusts. Oh wow! It's it's yeah. It's close, guys. It's hit Wales already. Oh, has it? Yeah, it's going through like kind of the Wirral, kind of Cheshire, oh, Chester. Mate, it's nearly yeah, making quicker time than the yeah. uh, Bear Lingus over there. <laughs> oh, and as you can hear, the CF six engines on the Airbus A330. Let's have a quick update on uh, the METAR as well then. Yes, that is heading off to New York JFK. It's one of them routes that they, for a while, had uh, a narrow body serving that route, an A321 long range. And uh, it's been a while since I've seen that aircraft doing an Air Lingus UK route. Pretty much exclusively use A330s now at Manchester, that subsidiary. What do you think about the BMI? That's the same Monarch guy, mate. It's exactly the same style, the font, everything. It, oh. It's all, it's too too close. Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm calling rubbish on that. What already. is it? I've not even looked into it. Is it BMI just... apparently are now returning. Okay. But it's a very similar announcement to uh, Monarch. Interesting. So, uh, yeah. Like the whole, and... like, company's house... Um, well, the, just the we we're building on this many years, seventy-five years of customer experience, and this that <laughs> the other. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm not going to pay any attention to that. I learned my lesson. Well, the the Monarch relaunch got a lot of press coverage from like actual like like the BBC and stuff. Like, it did yeah. And the problem was that they kind of covered it as like they could be returning but then never followed it up when it was kind of realised that it was phony. Yeah. So I think Very a lot strange, of people kind of had the illusion that Monarch actually still... It's still happening. It's still happening, yeah. Chris Capallo returning for 36 months. Whoa. And we turned into a Wookiee, says. There you go, with that silver Wookiee badge. Yo, Chris, that's looking mega, mate. 36 nice. months. There you go, chat. You get your Wookiee badge at 36 months to celebrate those Pratt & Whitney engines. 
And uh, thank you very much, Chris. Tony Rivers, well on the way, returning for 19 months. Thank you, mate. And saying, only do two of these a year. Missed out on the 18th, says Tony. Thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate the support. Thank you. I think, are you, Scappy, are you the only Wookiee in the chat at the moment? What, what an honour. Or is Lee in the chat, maybe? Anybody else in the chat got a Wookiee? Oh, Fezzer has one, doesn't he? I think he does, yeah. And Paul uh, saying, uh, rest in peace for Alpha 5. Yeah, he did sadly pass away some time ago, didn't he, Paul? Yeah, I was just saying. saying. It was a pleasure working alongside him in the airfield control tower. Oh, wow. Hey, for 80s pushing. Nice. Yeah, Great to have you with us, Paul. I was just saying that um, uh, we used to rely on him for things like runway times as well, and sadly now we don't have that luxury. No. Uh, he's a great, great guy, and obviously very well known here at Manchester Airport. But it is a pleasure to have people in the stream who work around the airport, so if anyone does work here at Manchester, feel free to get involved in the community as much as you can do. I know there are restrictions on some things like that, but uh, it's great to have you with us anyway. Yeah, definitely. That Ryanair Max is next to go. Holding up over on 2-3 left for the departure. Dave saying he's got a Wookiee and we missed his shout-out right at the beginning of the show. What? No Dave. way. Sorry, Dave. Um, hold on, hold on. i got to scale back. There it yeah, is. Dave yeah. Morgan returning for 36 months saying, yay, a Wookiee badge. What a three years it's been as well. I feel privileged. Wow. Thanks very much, Dave. Really appreciate that. And uh, Alex Poulter as well, in case I didn't get you. Thank you very much for the 14 months. So let's hope for a great show today. Thank you, guys. And uh, an update on our member situation. We have had brand new eight brand new uh, members on today's stream. Thank you very much, guys. And Jane Chu returning for 27 months of Airliners Live membership saying, gotta love you guys. Sat here in cosy with a coffee and the content. Awesome, Jane. Coffee and Hope content. Hope you're doing well. And now uh, Wayne is in the chat with his Wookiee badge saying he's lurking. Nice one, Wayne. Another Wookiee viewer in the chat. I've said it a few times. And I think it's still true. This Aer Lingus, I think, is the loudest plane at Manchester Airport. When you just consider, like, sheer decibels. Like, even the taxi is loud all the way over there yeah. on the south runway. Uh, them CF6 engines, similar to, well, the same engines as what um, TUI use on the 767s here at Manchester. They sound awesome. And is she going to be next? There is a TUI moving as well. Might get the Aer Lingus out next though I think they yeah, will Tui's out for Sharm El Sheikh but the Aer Lingus is lined up yeah yeah Tui's stopped short of the runway and the Easy Jets peeping creeping down to uh, <laughs> Easy Jet Corner we'll see if it makes it down there <laughs> Easy Jet Corner <laughs> yeah well, I th you'll know when this is going for sure uh, Paul no I don't believe so mate I think it was a bit of a scam, dude, or a bit of a joke. Manchester soon. <laughs> I'm a little bit excited. Yeah. Just a little bit. Guys, that, you know how loud that was, considering that's all the way on the other side of the airfield. That was crazy. The yeah, Airbus A330. But thanks everyone for all the fantastic feedback we've had on the first episode of the brand new feature on Airliners Live, the Aviation Podcast. Um, let us know in the chat if you've watched that first episode yet. And uh, based on your feedback, we have also uploaded it to Spotify as well for you guys who want to listen to the audio whilst you're driving to work and things like that. So you can now watch it on Spotify, listen to it on Spotify, and uh, watch it on YouTube as well. 
and uh, we've had some absolutely awesome feedback so thank you very much everybody i hope you've all enjoyed it and we've got two more guests lined up as well already folks so uh two more episodes to come we've also got a couple of awesome videos to film in uh tomorrow as well so uh loads of really great content coming up on the channel yeah really really hyped get subscribed to the airliners lounge where we put our pre-recorded stuff but we do upload the full podcasts on airliners live john gilbert one year red tail badge welcome back john afternoon janet it's getting worse here janet it, yeah it's... and uh, ken cheatham as well welcome it's getting wild it's not too cold which is good is wet though. A380 just uh, finishing up the pushback process. We'll be departing soon back to Dubai. A little bit later than usual today. Over an hour late, I think. Uh, the Dublin traffic's holding to land. Sorry, I misread that. Uh, we have had it before where the wind's been too bad for him to depart here in Manchester. Yes. Cheers, Spike. Appreciate that. Well, as Captain Mark said, if the wind gets too bad, it even gets to the point where you can't even use the stairs that connect to the aircraft. Yeah. Like, even they have a limit, so... Yeah, like, wind is uh, pretty critical at an airport. Liam Fletcher gifting an Airliners Live membership, putting us to nine brand-new members on today's show. Thank you, Liam. Thank you. And Paul saying a brilliant podcast with the captain. It really was, and I think... I watched it back at home again, and I've watched it like three times now, because me and Andy really do like to critique everything that we put out, and we watch things a few times through, and it's still not got boring for me. Yeah. And I kind of got the feeling there's a lot more we can talk about with Mark as well. Yeah. So in a few months' time, I may have a chat with Mark myself as well on the podcast and Round uh, do another episode with him, because I know you guys said in the chat that you could kind of listen to Mark for, for hours. He's got so many stories. Yeah. But a massive 10 out of 10 to the RVP as well, guys, because when we've arrived today, um, they've finished some resurfacing works on the main mound. And I know back in the day when we used to be on the mound, um, it did get quite muddy and, uh, and wet underfoot towards the front of the main mound. And it's been completely resurfaced now with brand new fence and everything like that put up. And uh, it looks like they've done a really good job. Uh, so 10 out of 10s for the RVP getting that ready in time for winter. 757 subscribers, is that a record? Uh, I mean... <laughs> it is I, for us, Ronald, yes. Bit of a milestone. There's, there's no, no uh, live aviation channel that has more subscribers at the moment. And uh, we are looking Let's forward see, yeah. to the 1 mil, I think, is going to be the next really big milestone. Uh, but these ones are nice, you know, 7.4, 7, 7.5, 7, 7.6. 7, 7, yeah, we, uh, we got a few big numbers to come, which is, uh, which is really cool. But uh, we are pushing forward towards the 1 million, which is uh, going to be absolutely mega. Yeah. Uh, really looking forward to that. And that should give us the, uh, apparently, a gold plaque from, uh, from YouTube themselves, just like what we got back. Yes. Yeah, it's funny, actually. I put it on um, Twitter this morning. Um, it was actually a year ago yesterday that we hit 100,000 subscribers. It's crazy, isn't it? What's the next one after that to get another plaque? Is it 500? Uh, it's 100 million 100 after that. 100 million after that. <laughs> yeah. So I think this will probably be the last unboxing on Airliners Live of a YouTube plaque. Yeah, I'd assume so. Um, has Jerry got more? No, Ronald. Um, Airliners Live is the most subscribed aviation live channel in the world now. Uh, so we've overtook Jerry uh, a while back, and we also overtook airline videos who were originally uh, holding that number one spot. So uh, there's no other live aviation channel in the world that's uh, got more subscribers than us now, which is a pretty crazy thing to say, to be honest. Yeah, considering we're just Manchester Airport mostly as well. Like I know it's a great airport for spotting, but... You know, look at like LAX and stuff. It's it, the action you get there is unbelievable. Like fair play to the guys streaming on there for mm. countless hours and 
putting on a real show. It's 10 million, I believe, mate. Even 10 million. I can't even imagine. Like, I don't think I'm going to survive long enough to get what, 10 million. <laughs> what do you get, 10 million? It's like, um, isn't it that diamondy, glassy looking one? Whoa. It looks pretty cool. I, I don't know what number it is. I, I do see one. Uh, Spud, welcome to Premium Economy Membership. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. And uh, that puts us to 10 brand new members today. Welcome in, guys. Thank you. Yeah, Ronald, airline videos were the same as us for quite a while, but we overtook them uh, about a month ago now. Yeah, something like that. Shamir, we're live at the RVP, and um, you can come down to the RVP. It's a public uh, space where you can come and do some uh, videoing and photography, mate. Yeah, it's great. We've been streaming here for like five years now or something crazy. Oh, my days. David just messaged us. We've got a show critical chat, which is like, look at this. It needs looking at kind of thing. And I didn't even realize. He's just said there's 3.1K viewers at the moment. 3.1K on a midweek. Guys, what is going on? Hello, guys. Hi. Mate, I was just sat here chilling, thinking there's like a 1,000 viewers in here. I know. I, I don't really look at the the counter well, anymore. I better do a proper show I guess I'll stand up and start presenting properly <laughs> I'm here having a brew and a natter and there's over 3,000 of you sat in here you nuts speaking of Manchester variety we have the A380 going to be taken off soon but look what's just landed a Pilatus at PC12 good job he got in when he did <laughs> yeah give that an hour you yeah. wouldn't have been coming in here son. there's one of our I think Feza edited it uh, it's one of our biggest shorts and it's one of them trying to land in a storm. And it's just going up like a roller coaster, like trying to go up and down the dips and touch down. It uses so much runway as well. Landing at uh, Manchester Airport. Let me get a post on Twitter. We've had our fair shares of storms. I notice it's usually like around March time, uh, February, March, and we get the, the biggest of the storms of the year. That's where like. Uh, that massive one hit Storm Eunice a couple of years ago. And speaking of Jerry, that's where he, you know, really went viral. You know, he was on the in the, the media, like on TV and stuff. And um, we were streaming it too. But the problem with Manchester Airport we had was, although it was like probably just as windy, um, a, a lot of planes were just diverting here. Whereas because Heathrow was so busy and you know, they really do want to get these planes in. A lot of them were just committing to it and, you know, doing a great job. And we were streaming, and it got to the point where everything was going around. Like, very, you had to wait, like, 15, 20 minutes to see a landing. And we're talking, like, not, like, last-minute go-arounds, but, like, just, like, missed approaches. They would, you know, start the descent on final approach and then just dip. Because they'd, they'd hit wind shear or something. Do you remember that Tui that went around three times? Yeah, Tui, yeah, like a 737, wasn't it? And it, it went to, like, Edinburgh or Newcastle. Yeah, it went up to end. Scotland in the end, didn't it? Right, yeah, yeah. Folks, do us a massive, massive favour, please. Head over to Airliners Live on Twitter. Search for Airliners Live. I've just put a post out with a link to the channel. Give it a click, give it a like, a share, a retweet, say it's mega, say the channel's great, you're loving the show. Just say whatever you need to say to make it look really, really cool, guys, on Twitter, please. Because <laughs> we uh, would love to get some Twitter viewers into the stream as well and expand the audience on the channel. Yes. So we've just put a little uh, little post out there with a link to the stream. If you can uh, support us on there and... and uh, there's a little bit of cheeky advertising, guys. We'd really appreciate that as well. So just search for Airliners Live on Twitter and uh, have a look at the latest post. Yes, here goes the Emirates A380. Just Chris B8 uh, as well, saying, I just found your channel today. Nice. Welcome, Chris. Welcome to the community, mate. Let's get some waves in the chat for Chris and all the brand new viewers today. Just about to enter. Two, three left. The departure runway at the moment. Heading back to Dubai just before the storm really hits. It is windy. It is rainy, but uh, the the bulk of the storm hasn't quite slammed into us yet. You mean X, Ronald? I still can't get used to calling it X, mate. I seen someone did a, a like a, a poll about what what do you call it, and it was like over ninety five percent still call it Twitter. Is it like um, a tutorial on 
how to say it now because obviously you've got X, but then what's a tweet called and what's a retweet called? And yeah, I think they've just called them generic names like repost, you know, like re oh, right. and, and post. Okay, fine. <laughs> but I don't know, tweet, you, you know, it's more specific, isn't it? Looks like chaos at Dublin. It will be, mate. It will yeah. be with the winds that are forecast. It is going to get pretty naughty, mate. Yeah, I, it's getting. Yeah, the tower's starting to shake now. <laughs> not the com not the ATC tower. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> Our tower. Oh, uh, I bet they can feel a bit of a wobble though. Yeah, this has just been turned up a few knots now. I hope, guys, it doesn't become, it doesn't destroy the quality of like the audio and video. Because one issue we have is the rain is hitting the lens directly. There's no way around that, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's blowing directly into us, guys. But listen, I'm sorry. If you're coming in to a storm live stream and expecting not to hear the wind, <laughs> then uh, that's probably not on us. But we will do our best to minimise it as much as we can. OK, here we go. Emirates 8380 lining up to take off back to Dubai. hear the sound of a uh, very noisy Ryanair Max which you're going to see here photobomb just doing a quick little uh, jaunt down to another entrance of the taxiway yeah and that's out for Ibiza I wonder if they're going to try and sneak him in uh, front of the A380 because it does seem to be on a little bit of a quicker taxi yeah no turn and burn uh, Jane you can close the sales advert down just click the three Click the three uh, dots and click minimize or click oh. dismiss, whatever the button is. Look, it's, it's coming back. Oh, so it is. What's happened there? Yeah, folks, for anyone who can see the advert on stream, just dismiss it. Here we go. Just witnessed a full power A380 takeoff. Oh, <laughs> that sounded nuts. We listened to that in the office, didn't we, earlier on? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. do you remember this? And it's just done it again. Wow. I tell you now, guys, the A380 for me has always been a little bit underwhelming, but when it does a full power takeoff like that, those engines, oh, they sound, mate, they sound any, just as good as like a Lamborghini or something. <laughs> yes. That sounded great. Oh my god, look at the rain hitting the side of the tower and jumping up and <laughs> hitting me right now. Mate, can that A380 come back and do that again? <laughs> again, on. on court, on court. That was so good. You guys in the chat can rewind at least. Tony saying, afternoon guys, great show as always. Thank you, Tony. And James Little saying, being a fan of that one from London. So it's great to see uh, a stream from my local airport. Uh, thank you very much, James. It's great to have you with us in the community. Hello. Our local airport too. Yeah, I don't usually get that excited, but that, that did sound Dude, so e good. Even over the sound of the Ryanair, which was right next to us by that point, it cut through like a knife. I recorded that as well, so I'm, I'm probably going to make it a, like a highlight of this because this is, this is good. Yeah, I did my best not to say anything. Yeah, I knew same. you'd be recording, but <laughs> my face was just like... <laughs> <laughs> Jaw hitting the floor. <laughs> Right, guys, we've got another heavy coming out, though, which is great. Great timing. Tui Dreamliner. Let's get some 10 out of 10s in the chat for that takeoff, guys. That deserves it. Emirates departing in style here on the midweek show as we wait for Storm Agnes to smash our location here. It's uh, already in Dublin causing a bit of chaos. It's on the way over to Manchester, and we are going to be seeing some awesome pilot skill on display, folks, here at Manchester Airport. They always do a great job. 
and uh, we'll be bringing you live coverage of that right up until about 5 to 6 this evening. The area where we are closes at 6 p.m. and we'll push it right up to the button for you guys and uh, if we can bring you as much <laughs> if, as we can. If we make it. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like there's one or two passengers on the Ryanair who are drunk and going to be offloaded. It, yeah, it seemed that way, didn't it? Mate, that's probably why they're taxiing in. They're probably just fed up like, guys, come on. <laughs> and if you want to know, guys, the rules around can you be drunk on a plane, check out the brand new Airliners Lounge video where uh, it tells you all about it. And yeah, all the do planes have laws? Because you're not in a country. So who, whose laws do you follow? So, yeah, this Tui Dreamliner is going out soon. And take a look at their wings, because they are big wings made with a composite material, and they flex so much. And in the windy conditions like today, you really do see that flex. Uh, and it's a great view of that on the runway. Uh, two, three left. We're here celebrating uh, 757,000 subscribers on Airlines Live, and what better airport for it? We get so many 7.5s from Jet 2. This one here is a uh, 7.37. Tasca, thank you very much for the 18 months, saying literally the calm before the storm. Stay safe. Feels like it. Thanks very much, Tasca. Great to have you with us. Thanks for the long-time support of the channel as well. I, I literally have no idea how crazy this is going to be. Like, is it going to be like... I mean, judging by the scenes at Dublin... It's definitely going to be something significant, which I, w I was not expecting. Big shout out to Nick on Twitter, who says, Hi guys, I'm currently watching on my fire stick on the TV, so I can't chat, but great stream and the weather's looking horrendous. <laughs> Thank you very much for commenting on Twitter. Thank you all, guys. If you want to head over to Airliners Live on Twitter, just go and uh, have a look at that latest post and give it a repost and a like and a thumbs up and a comment, whatever you need to do. There's another Jet 2737 lining up on 23 left. That's in the, uh, what, what we call the dot-com scheme, which is actually the the original Jet 2 colours. It wasn't until about 2012, 2013 that they implemented the uh, the holiday scheme, as we've seen on the, the prior departure. This one here is the classic colours, and... We want to see a return to this because they're, they're not painting any of the new planes in this colours at the moment. People saying that apparently they will be. I'd love to see some of the the new Neos that they're getting in yeah, this colour. Yeah, I would. I would a lot. Yeah, so we shall see. This one on the way to Kefalonia. Here it goes. Qatar triples ready to go, but it's just missed its slot, so it's now been given a 1601 slot from Airliners Live ATC in the chat. That's, That's going to be uh, really helpful for us today, mate, if you're running the ATC for us. Thank you very much, dude. For those of you who aren't in the UK, or maybe you just don't know, it is illegal in the UK against the uh, regulations for us to broadcast live ATC. Uh, if you watch streams in the United States, it's not illegal there, so they can do it. But in the UK, we're not allowed. So uh, we kind of do a little get around of that by uh, one of our moderators listening to the ATC at home and getting it typed in the chat for us. So thank you, mate. And this Jet 2 arriving from Malaga. Oh, the spray well, building up on the runway as well. of Welling Oops. Airbus A321 on the way to Barcelona yeah nice to see the longer variants being used spot the dot airlines classic engines as well on the the Airbus aircraft And 
And uh, we've got a Tui Dreamliner lining up as well. Yes. It'd be nice to hear these engines. Yeah, like I said, the, the wind potentially affecting that wind, fl wind flex. Yeah, what other channels do, guys, is up to them, but that's how we've interpreted the um, the laws anyway, so. Yeah, it's definitely a bit of a grey area, and it's an old law as well, very yeah, archaic. Very old. I don't think you'd hear the ATC anyway over the wind in <laughs> a day like today. Yeah, I said the IAEs on the Phoenix are going to be awesome, aren't they? The new sounds on the Phoenix Airbus are so good. Mm. Absolutely incredible. They've done a really good job. That's always been a big seller for me. Like, bad sounds on a sim really does kill it a bit. It does. G minor rolling. Here we go. John, if you're in the chat, can you remove the advert from the screen, mate? If you've got access to do that. It should disappear, guys. I, I know a few of you guys have got it on the screen. It, it should disappear, but let's see if we can just remove it to make it easier for you guys to do. Yeah, uh, let me know, John. If not, I'll try and do it on my phone. There you go, taking flight. The Tui Dreamliner. But yeah, like on a, on a sim, I, I do value like good sound. And one thing I like about the Phoenix is like, you get all like the creaks and rattles and things of the of the aircraft. And it reminds me of like, you know, Interstellar, the film. Because mm. some space films, they go, oh, there's no sound in space. So when, when the spacecraft like accelerates or whatever, there's like just no noise. It's just the engines go, woo. But you have to think like on the inside, they would be hearing all sorts of like creaks and bashes and you know, jitters and all that. And it's the same on an aircraft, you know, when you're rolling down, down the runway, you've got like the, they often hit the, uh, isn't it the lights on the runway that you can hear when it's going doof, Yeah, doof, it's, doof, it's the lights on the screen one, John, the screen one. Yeah, yeah. It says, uh, he, was it? he said this in the chat, Andy says, I'm also struggling with the weather in Tenerife. It's 20 degrees and the wind's just blown my armband into the swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> Better problems to have. Only 20, That's, that doesn't seem that like warm. It's an odd take, 20 degrees, mate. Over this, yeah. Tell you what, though, visibility's good. Wind is picking up. Now 10 knots across the runway. Feels more than that. Yeah, it's definitely more than 10 knots. <laughs> we say that every time. Just watching this Ryanair lining up at the moment. Yeah, there would be sound inside the spacecraft, surely, because it'd be, like, pressurised, right? I think it's a lack of oxygen that means there'll be no sound outside. Or lack of anything. Yeah, I know, John, maybe YouTube's having an issue today because people are struggling to remove it today. That should be gone, guys. Maybe you need to refresh the stream if you if it's still on. Jet 2, next to arrive. We will start to keep an eye on arrivals now, guys, uh, as the wind starts to pick up. But it's easy jet in from Palmer. Yep. And thank you very much for the uh, 190 yen donation. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much for supporting the channel today. Thank you. Very kind. Tough to keep the little drink umbrellas where they belong. <laughs> <laughs> if you are enjoying the stream today and you'd like to support the channel, you can also support the community at the same time by gifting memberships. That's the best way to help us. You can click the dollar symbol, then click gifted memberships. We'll keep an eye on that throughout the show. And it's the best way to support not only the channel and help cover our costs, 
but give back to our awesome community at the same time. We've had 10 new members already on today's stream, and if you'd like to gift a membership to a new viewer, which is a very kind thing to do in the community, click the dollar symbol, then click gifted membership. And if you'd like to support us completely for free, just smash that like button and get involved in the chat. Right, we do have an arrival coming in. Let's have a look. Looks like a 737 Jet 2. Yep, in from Naples. Two hour, 37 minute flight. And uh, getting in just in time, I think. Yeah. Be a bit nervous seeing that storm coming in. Hoping you get here before it. As we mentioned, we're expecting it at about 4 p.m., so about half an hour. And that's also when they're going to change the single runway operations here at, at the airport. Apparently some of the Aer Lingus flights from Dublin to Manchester have already been cancelled due to the weather saying Paul in the chat. It's like two airports that are going to get hit by this as well. And Ian gifting an airliner's life membership. Thank you, mate. power and uh, it's still taking a while to stop there must be a lot of weight on this aircraft it did take a little bit of time to touch down as well often find that if they, they get down early and, and slam it down it loses a lot of momentum and stops quicker but if they, they grease it or take a little bit longer to get the aircraft down on the ground it can uh, often mean a much longer rollout And that puts us to 11 brand new members on today's stream. Thank you very much for that. Well, with that Pilatus PC-12 just uh, heading out. Thanks very much, Ian. And uh, next to land, TUI aircraft in from Skiathos 737-800. Nice. And the Air Baltic's already on the taxi out. That left, uh, that arrived with us... Uh, not too far, uh, not too long ago, sorry. Yeah, doing flights on behalf of Eurowings today. I think with the uh, the conflict in uh, the east of Europe, then uh, I think Air Baltic are down a few of their routes. Uh, I'm not sure of how much of that is still true, but it certainly was true a couple of months ago. And as a result, they had a bit of a surplus of aircraft. So they leased a lot of them out to different airlines. You could utilize them to increase their capacity, such as Eurowings. I think Scandinavian as well. We've seen some appearances at Manchester under the uh, Air Baltic colours. But they're super diverse, flexible aircraft, the A220s. Air Baltic himself do have a, a route from Manchester to Riga, which started a couple of years ago. Not sure about the frequency of that these days. And that noise is one of the reasons why we love them. Wookie howl from the Pratt & Whitney what engines on board as it uh, advances those throttles to cross the runway over to the south runway here at Manchester Airport. And the reason it makes those noises, just down to the uh, design of the engines, it's a geared turbofan engine. And uh, the way it's designed, it is uh, prone to resonating at that frequency. And there it is again. Great sound. Uh, Tom Walsh, no, not yet, mate. No, welcome in. Thank you very much for tuning in. Speaking of Eastern European leased aircraft, this has come from uh, Smart Links Estonia, doing a flight for TUI. 
as it's been based here in Manchester for a few months now. Dave Chapman, welcome to the community. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And uh, next to arrive with us is an easy jet in from Lanzarote, passing through 1,900 feet. Keep an eye out for that. But if you are just tuning in, a very warm welcome to Airliners Live bringing you live coverage from Manchester Airport. Get involved in the chat, we've got a fantastic community. And even if you know absolutely nothing about aviation, guys, you'll get a very warm welcome here on this channel to get yourselves involved in the chat. Matt's saying the Qatar's already pushed back. Nice. It has, the slot's been advanced to quarter two now. Nice. So that's enough time for it to push back taxi and uh, they'll be pretty much ready to go. Yes. Guys, the travel wallet ad, if ever, the travel wallet ad, all you need to do is click the three dots and click dismiss, guys. Yeah. If it's not showing, just refresh your stream. They run every single week and we never have this much trouble with them. There's three dots, click that and then click dismiss. Mods, can we just spam that in the chat because it's getting asked a lot. Yeah, we have removed all the ads from our side, so maybe you guys just need to refresh your YouTube channels. Come out of YouTube, maybe go back in. We've turned them all off, guys, so they shouldn't even be showing anymore. Lovely sky over there as well. Wow, look at that. It's a nice shade of gold. And there's uh, Zam H returning for five months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Saying awesome stream as always, and the storm is starting to pick up in Rochdale. Is it? Yeah, it's picking up here too. It's weird because as we were leaving the office, it was like so calm. <laughs> I was like, is there really a storm coming? Bit of a breeze, but nothing crazy. And Andy Baker just gifted an Airliners Live membership as well. Thank you very much, Andy. That puts us to 12 brand new members on today's stream. A320 touching down. Squeaky brakes. And this A320 also with EasyJet heading out to 2 3 left for the departure. A couple of departures left on that runway for the next 25 minutes. And then it's all going to be over here now. All the action. So stick around. And that is also when the storm is allegedly going to get a bit wild. So we're going to have about two hours of uh, crazy action. I don't know how crazy. We'll find out. But if uh, Dublin Airport anything to go by, <laughs> it's going to get pretty nuts. And Andy Baker, thank you very much, mate. Gifting an Airliners Live membership to the community today, putting us on 14 new members. Wow, you've done three, mate. That puts us to 14 new members. Thank you very much, dude. That's very kind. And Dave tuning in from sunny Munich, new to your channel. Welcome, Dave. Great to have you with us. Yeah, I've seen that uh, Europe is... Uh, <laughs> a lot of Europe is quite nice and pleasant at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Fred tuning in... Um, why has that just gone off my screen? There he is. Fred tuning in from a wet and windy Thailand and joining the coverage. Thank you, Fred. And Andrew Howarth, what a legend, dropping five. Membership gifted memberships to the channel Whoa. putting us to 19 new members today thank you very much Andrew a lot of action at the moment in Manchester uh, Steve it's a direct crosswind at the moment mate and it's expecting to stay like that yeah direction wise yeah we're at 150 on the uh, 150 on the heading of the wind at the moment 
and Linda just gifted also an Airliners Live membership. Thank you, Linda. Really appreciate that. Colin Acton, good afternoon to you. Appreciate that, Linda. Thank you. And uh, Dave Gardner returning for 16 months saying great stream, guys, and the spray is great as well. Loving it. Yeah, Andy doing a mega job on the camera. I'm watching all the screens, keeping an eye on what's going on. I'm just going to wipe the lens again. It's something that I'm going to have to do quite a lot, guys. And uh, there's a Ryanair in from Palma de Mallorca uh, on the approach, uh, about 1,500 feet, so plenty of time for that. Anwar Ahmad tuning in from Dubai. Welcome to you. Thank you very much, Richard. Appreciate that. Cheers, Dave. <laughs> Fiona saying it's very wet and windy here in Whitehaven. Yeah, I think we're all going to be uh, getting that on we, very soon. I think so. There you go. KLM heading back to Amsterdam. Just get a look at that sky. That is so beautiful. Very and pretty. Uh, Nathan just gifted five as well. Thank you very much, Nathan. Appreciate that, mate. Oh, got an arrival coming in. And Rick saying, first time watching Airliners Live. Great channel and nice work, guys. Welcome in, Rick. Welcome to the community, mate. And thanks again, Nathan, for gifting five memberships. Putting us to 25 new members of today's show. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're watching on YouTube as well. Helps us out a lot. I know we uh, hit a 1,000, I think, already. I'm not sure. What are we on? Um, we are on. I can't see. The spray. Retrofitted uh, wingtips as well. That was nuts. That was really cool, wasn't it? Did not expect it to be that much liquid on the runway still. Ryanair managed to find it all. And uh, Dan saying the image and the sound is so crisp considering the conditions. That's great to hear, mate. Thank you very much, dude. And George Fitzgibbon is a brand new Airliners Live VIP. Welcome in, George. Thanks for uh, supporting the stream today. And you're uh, number 26 today, George. So thank you very much for that. Just got smacked in the eye by a giant drop of water. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't a seagull. I know. Could have been worse. Or well, something else bird-related. Bird on the end. Now I know why Jerry wears them giant goggles when he does his strip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt trip. brought some with him last time he was here. Oh, yeah. Might need them. Got some with some window wipers on him. <laughs> <laughs> Ali saying good afternoon, everyone. Storm's picking up in Burnley. Welcome in, Ali. What time are we on till about 6 p.m., Ewan? And the right now, just taxiing past is in from Palmer after drying the runway completely. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we do uh, really make an effort to make sure the quality is good, make sure the colours look true to life. Yeah, it's uh, one of the main things about airline is like, if you are new to our channel, we very much value the community but we also spend a lot of time trying to perfect our audio and video and it's gone through quite a few iterations this year to try and get it the best we possibly can so i hope you guys are enjoying it at home if you are watching on the tv or ipad or something like that make sure you click the settings cog on youtube and that you are watching in 2160 guys which is the highest resolution we offer because you will see a massive improvement and if you're just watching in 1080p or something like that Interesting to see the Ryanair with a UK reg. Indeed, this was actually a uh, byproduct of Brexit. They made a, uh, a UK subsidiary called Ryanair UK. No, and it, I know, and it's only got I think 13 aircraft. I think something like that. I, I don't think there's much utility to it. Jet two 
heading out to Fjord's Venture. And Fraser, welcome back, Premium Economy member. Thank you very much. You can see still that spray trail behind the aircraft. That is all the liquid on the runway again. Kicked up by the engines. Obviously, it's much more spectacular when uh, the planes are landing. You really scoop up the water with them uh, reverse thrusters. Look at that sky. That is so picturesque. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Especially considering what we're expecting <laughs> yes. to come as well. Someone said, I think it was Tasco, as it said, calm before the storm. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> not completely calm but <laughs> it is before the storm and there you go kevin j just saying i've just switched to the 2160 quality and it makes a huge difference oh yeah it's good amazing doing. quality guys thank you very much kevin enjoy that yeah and uh, tony p a very long term supporter of the channel returning for 22 months executive club member which is our highest tier of membership on the channel saying good afternoon all stay safe as the storm gets closer but secretly I'm hoping for some go-arounds. Yeah, we are looking <laughs> forward to seeing some uh, pilot skill as the winds build up on the channel. Yeah, it's definitely picking up. I don't know how loud it is for you guys on the stream. Um, part of me likes the fact that you guys can hear it, though. It'd be kind of weird if it was quiet. Absolutely. It just wouldn't be right, would it? And live plane spotting shows, brand new jump seat member. Hey! Thank you very much. Very high tier membership coming we, in. We follow him on, uh, or him or her on... Uh, on X, Twitter. On Twitter, absolutely. Really 28 good. new members today. Cheers for that very high tier membership. Appreciate that a lot. In uh, this Ryan is a Polish reg, which I believe designates it to the Buzz subsidiary of Ryanair. So that has a little bit more of a creative name. Mrs. Airliners lives in the chat. Thanks very much, Jen. Thanks for sorting that. Appreciate it. And I think Ryanair Buzz was technically the first of the subsidiaries that they made, but um, it was originally called Ryanair Sun. Uh, that didn't stick around for too long, and then they, they created Buzz, which actually has its own livery in some cases as well, but a lot of them are just doing the Ryanair colours. Clive Edwards, keep an eye on the chat. One of the moderators will drop you a little message with how to do it, mate. And... Uh, Chris, thank you very much for purchasing a 757 Hollow, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah, they are on sale today, folks, because uh, we're actually celebrating getting 757,000 subscribers. So we've done a flash sale on uh, the holographic displays uh, on our website. They are an original Airliners Live item that we designed ourselves, uh, and they're in our office to ship out to you guys. And uh, they're usually uh, uh, around 12 quid, so we put them on sale for 757 today. Yeah, a little celebration. Yeah, so get, get yours now. And here's a Qatar triple on the way out, quite delayed, but uh, it did get an advance on the slot. It was due out at four on the slot that it was given, but they've managed to uh, improve that for them, so it's now heading out at uh, quarter two was its scheduled departure time, so bang on. We see this plane so often. Bravo Oscar Foxtrot on the reg. Baft. <laughs> Baft. <laughs> Uh, and, and that flash sale, guys, is just today only. So if you're watching the stream back after the 27th of September, 2023, then that sale probably isn't still a thing. So. Tony Richardson, a brand new Airliners Live VIP. Let's get some uh, hearts in the chat for Tony. Thank you, mate. Thanks for supporting the channel today. Nice wide body departure. Qatar actually operated. They were probably the only one or the most consistent of the international airlines. Um, to operate through COVID. They continue to operate like right through the pandemic here at Manchester. For a while, they were using the A350 900s as well, which was a, a nice change. But I mean, the 777 300s are pretty cool. Uh, winds are due to pick up Linda about 4 p.m. onwards, so uh, we're pretty much nearly there, to be honest. And uh, Belgius, a long term channel member, gifting five. Airliners Live memberships today. Thank you, mate. Hope you're doing well. And uh, we really do appreciate that. Five gifted memberships, footing us to 34 new members on today's show. Thank you, mate. And Benji saying the growth for this channel has been amazing. I remember the 100K. Absolutely. 
Yeah. That was about a year ago. It was. Ago, no? A year and a day. That's right, Ellie, yes. Yeah, that's right. I yeah, think... I'm going to... I'm going to... Have a ta- I'm going to call it a tactical wee. <laughs> I'm going to go for a tactical wee now okay. before the weather gets really bad and I'm not going to want to go for one. So stand by, chat. I'm going to risk one. Yeah, mate. Yeah, I put a, a video on our Twitter of the moment we hit 100,000 subscribers and we were live for it. And uh, you see me and Martin's big cheer and <laughs> celebrations. It was great. That is so picturesque. Look at that. Wow. Reminds me of like the winter this. You know when it's like the sun's dead low in the sky for the the like the mid to late afternoon. Reminds me of that. It does feel like winter. It's not quite as cold though, that's anything. The only saving grace of today. I do have my layers on. I am waterproof. Jet 2737 landing. Oh, she's stopping quick. A lot of power and then reverses. I can see another plane about to land as well. Will you guys be broadcasting tomorrow too? No, we only stream uh, regularly on Wednesday and Sunday. We have just announced today, though, that we are adding a, should we say, semi-regular stream on a Friday. And I'll be uh, hosted by uh, moderator uh, Matt Smith, who's, I believe, in the chat now. Uh, and me and Martin may occasionally uh, make appearance on that, as well as other people. Oh, this is getting a bit windy now. Three and a half thousand live viewers on the channel. Wow. And uh, GING3, thank you very much for tuning in. Great to have you with us. Hello. Winds are supposed to increase uh, within the next half an hour or so, mate, I would have thought. Yeah, it is, it is getting windier progressively. Like someone's slowly turning up the dial. The heat is being turned up. So if you are a brand new viewer to Airliners Live, welcome in. And uh, if it's your first time watching, we'd love you to introduce yourself in the chat. Don't be shy. We've got a very friendly community here, so you'll be greeted with a, uh, a very warm welcome. We'd love to make you a returning viewer of the channel. Feel free to get involved. What colours have you got already, Dave? Cheers, Louise. Thanks very much for that. Should see uh, runway two close in a couple of minutes as well. Yeah, so for those who are watching for the first time today, that means both departures and arrivals will be on the runway that's right in front of us. So you guys at home are going to get an absolutely incredible view. To stick with the channel, don't go anywhere because we're live for the next few hours, guys. Bringing you all of the action here from Manchester. Also means our planes won't be holding to cross the runway, so it means we get a nice clear view of the runway. You can see another aircraft on final approach as well. This 2E737 800 Golf Foxtrot Delta Zulu X ray on the reg. 
in them beautiful two-y colours. And that split scimitar winglets as well. Huge winglet design. Apparently that's the most efficient winglet design uh, flying in the skies at the moment, according to Boeing. Maybe that's a completely unbiased view. <laughs> hey, Miss Wolves, thanks for tuning in. Hello. Yeah, so the storm that we're getting today has come from the Atlantic. It's already passed over Ireland. It's currently, I think it's still over, like Dublin and things. Uh, it's travelled over the Irish Sea. It's hit Wales and is now hitting Manchester. Thanks, Walshie. Appreciate that. No stress getting down for that EasyJet A320. Really good job. A lot of inputs being put in by the pilot. And Sai, a first-time viewer from Ashton Underline. Welcome, Sai. Local viewer as well. Thank you, mate. Any aviation club updates? And we've got another meeting with Zach on Sunday, guys. And the last update from Zach is it's very close. Yeah, we're just doing, at the moment, just so you guys have got a tiny bit of an update, we're just doing some security patches just to make this uh, website as safe and secure as possible. Um, so at the moment, Zach's just making sure that's all good. We don't want to launch the website uh, before that's completed for obvious reasons. So that's what he's working on. But functionally, the, uh, the website is working very well. So we're not long away at all, guys, for the... For the beta, at least, anyway. Pilots reporting a bit of a shock at three miles. Roger Dodger, cheers, uh, uh, as I've Looks like a 737 Max coming in next with Tui. It's in from Dalaman, Turkish flag. Yeah, getting blown around a bit there. point where it's not crazy winds but it is as you can see enough to really put pressure on the pilots to keep it level so far so good doing a great job hey up mongo great to see you mate you're not flying today dude <laughs> great to see you pal I Thanks think for mark, captain mark is flying in it Mods, is he flying in today or is he flying out during our stream, potentially? Please, Seb, if you're free, mate, that'd be fantastic. Thank you, dude. We caught, we caught Captain Mark doing a go-around. I don't think he'd ever hear the end of it. I don't think he would. <laughs> hey, up, Dave. Tuning in from Stretford, another local viewer. Thank you, Dave. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all well. The aircraft on the final approach. Let's have a look at that windsock. As you can see, it's, yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty much just a, a slice down the side of the runway. Two aircraft in from Prevetsa Max 8. We do usually notice that the Max variants of the 7.3s over the NGs are much more stable. And we've spoke to a couple of pilots about this, and they kind of put it down to not only the extra power of the engines, but also the positioning of the engines as well, which changes the center of gravity slightly of the aircraft. So it's just a little bit better at handling the wind, and we definitely noticed that in previous storms as well. And uh, as you see here, it's coming in relatively stable and uh, really making light work of those winds. Yes. Yeah, no stress at all there on the Max aircraft. Hey, James, tuning in from Nutsford. Great to see you. Jed uh, saying, just found you guys. So absorbing watching the comings and goings. Very relaxing. Welcome to the community, Jed. Great to have you with us, mate. Proper blustery here in Belfast. I bet it is, Mongo. I bet it is, dude. How's the flying going, mate? Great to see you, dude.
I assume he's based at like Aldergrove, is he? Or Belfast City, I guess. Uh, Terry letting us know that Tui's due in at 5.45 from Venice. Uh, Captain Mark's due in, sorry. That's 5.45. Cool. Hey, Neil, thank you very much, mate, saying I've been watching for a good few weeks and I love it. A very pleasant way to spend a wet Wednesday and the quality of the camera work is epic. Thank you very much. Cheers. No worries, Rebecca. I hope you're both having a great time. Lighting's quite nice, actually. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. As we go into the uh, the later afternoon. Danny's in the chat from Dublin saying the storm's passed over. It's calm now. Nice. Well, passing it over to us, are you? Heading our way, then. Yeah. Really windy here in the Isle of Man. Yeah, so it's really it's catching us, isn't it? Yeah. Already over the Isle of Man, really not far away now. Wouldn't want to be flying to the Isle of Man today. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I assume their airport's been rather quiet. Let's see if we can take a bet. Hey, Nick, tuning in from Nigeria. Welcome. Martin Faulkner saying, I found the 2160 res. It's now so good. <laughs> hey, nice one, Martin. Glad mm. you found it, mate. Uh, all good, thanks. Uh, I haven't had any flights into Manchester um, until the end of next month, sadly, but based in Belfast City. Yeah, let us, uh, let us know, Mungo, when you're on the way in, and we will uh, make sure we try and catch you, dude, if you're on the, sh if you're on the show. Yeah. Tony P, the main man, gifting five Airliners Live memberships to the community, and that's putting us to 39 brand new members on today's show. Thank you very much, mate. I'll give you another bing bong for that as well. Dropping five gifted memberships. A lot of new viewers in the stream today, guys. We're well over 3,500 live viewers here on Airliners Live today, live from Manchester Airport. Incredible numbers, viewer numbers for a midweek show for us here on Manchester. It's crazy. So thank you guys for tuning in. Belfast City, eh? So that's obviously the smaller of the two. That used to be pretty dominated. I remember by Flybe used to be really popular there. I wonder how it is these days. I wonder if it's just a lot of Aer Lingus, I guess. Aer Lingus UK probably based there. Um, or Aer Lingus Regional UK, I think you'd call them. Welcome, Rachel. Tuning in from Leeds. Brand new subscriber of the channel as well. And Danny saying you can have the weather guide. School run was not fun this morning. <laughs> yeah, it's coming, isn't it? Yes. It's very strange how, uh, as you say, Andy, the sky is just very calm. Yeah, it doesn't look stormy, does it? No. It looks quite pleasant, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Next aircraft to land on approach in from Kos 2737-800 2,000 feet There you go, look at that sky again Very pretty Nice colour We'll keep our eyes to the skies for the next arrival Just looking at that windsock It is, yeah, still pretty Pretty, pretty windy. I've still got all that American candy in mine as well. I need to bring that into the office. Soon. Ah, yeah. That's another default YouTube video for us to make. We are going to be doing a lot of filming tomorrow anyway. It's just an excuse to eat some snacks, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> yes. Does it die account if it's uh, if it's work related? Don't think so. <laughs> it's free pass, isn't it? It's huh? a business expense. Yeah. <laughs> Say the same about sausage rolls <laughs> During business hours Yeah It was a business meeting Of course It was obviously On my lunch break <laughs> Bit of crabbing action going on there On the two People on the right hand side of the aircraft Probably seeing the uh, The airport I think that would be bizarre James saying I've been drinking a shot Every time the sky 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 Is mentioned I can see two of everything already. Two of what? Two of the sky? The sky is looking very nice. It is a very nice sky today. <laughs> what do you think of the sky, Andy? 
I was watching Sky TV this morning. They, they said the sky was pretty nice. Yeah. Can't see him for the rest of the stream now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Mongo's just based in Aldergrove. Belfast City is used for Erling as regional. I'm surprised you're not an Nigel yet, Mongo. Any good TV recommendations at the moment? I've not been watching much TV, Ian, to be honest, mate. On Sky TV or Sky? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've not been watching much telly, mate. I still need to watch uh, Hijack, because everyone keeps telling me to watch that. Yeah, it's so strange, this... <laughs> Speaking of Sky. Oh, look at that colour up there. Whoa! <laughs> oh, my God. As the wind just goes up to, like, the highest intensity it's been all day. Yin and Yang of Manchester Airport. Imagine that, like a storm, but it's like blue sky. <laughs> You're just there in your shorts and t-shirt. <laughs> it was like that in Lanzarote when we went in March, and it was like crazy, like 34 knot winds, and we were there in our shorts and t-shirt. Flip-flops flying everywhere. Ah, right, got you, Mungo. Got you, got you. I think it would be a, a travesty of the aviation world if... Uh, Mungo Spencer did not fly for British Airways. We've been saying it since the Twitch days, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely... This wind has definitely just gotten turned up. Yeah. Look at that. First time viewers Alex and Paul watching from Staley Bridge. Welcome in, guys. Hope you're enjoying the stream today. Goggles, are you in a minute? I know. Right, so there's an easy jet taxi and out. Is it going to use runway one? It should do. And I there's a Phenom 300 on approach as well. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. Just establishing, so it's about 3,500 feet. This jet's going to get blown around a bit. <laughs> Skyler says, My name is Sky, so the last five minutes of conversation certainly had my attention. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think he's on about 19 shots now, aren't he? Yeah. Um, I did just... Is it on final approach, that Bizjet? Uh, it's established, I won't necessarily uh, say it's okay, yeah, yeah. anywhere visible yet. Yeah, I just uh, keep my eye up on the sky. Speaking of a Nigel, we also have uh, British Airways on the stand over there at Terminal 1. Or Terminal 3, that is, actually, I think it is. I did. Matty, I did. I'm not going to lie. I did I did laugh, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, I remember now them goggles, yeah. I've, um, if you want, Andy, I have got a pair of sunglasses in my car if you want them. No, 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 it's not a problem at all. You're all right. Yeah, yeah. RAF Valley now 33 knots. Roger Dodger is on the way. Yeah. Welcome in, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Airliners Live. Incredible viewer numbers today. Awesome. It is crazy. Thank you, guys. Three and a half thousand live viewers. Duncan saying I'm on an ATR uh, tomorrow from the Isle of Man to Liverpool. Nice. I've, I've been tempted to book one of them flights. I almost did fly on a, a Logan Air back when, you know, Virgin Orbit had the launch from Cornwall mm. uh, Spaceport Cornwall so also known as Newquay and uh, you can um, or, or that particular airport known as Newquay uh, and uh, yeah I, went, I had it in the checkout and I was going to do it and, and uh, that, the flight filled up which uh, which put me off booking it and it was just as well because yeah, I don't know it was cool and all but it was just too dark and mm. now uh, Virgin Orbit have gone bust, haven't they? I think, or something uh, like that. When Pretty it's much. a liquidation. Yeah, and now the the aircraft is. I think they repurposed another similar venture. Cosmic Girl. Have you guys ever eaten at Hickory's? I've not. No. What? I have. What is it? It's really good. 
really good. Mm. It, it's it's like a steakhouse, but it's like a twist. It's like they, you know, they'll you'll do like um, fajitas with yeah. ste- steak in them and stuff like proper well done steak. Oh, right. Not well done as in. Did they do takeaway? I'm not sure. There's one that far from here, you know, literally probably five. I might be. Is it literally like five ten minutes from here? I feel like it's close. Oh, Jen, I'm going to be late home tonight. Sorry. <laughs> Something's come up. <laughs> Coming out with all these cookies as well. <laughs> Go up back. Easy Jet lining up for departure. And uh, that's out to Antalya. What's the ribbons about on that biz? Uh, on the front nose there, I think they're covers for the, uh, the PO tubes. Yep. Which... Uh, there are basically sensors for, for speed uh, and uh, if they're left uncovered on the ground I think things can uh, go inside and block it yeah like little insects and stuff you don't want anything inside those because it, it stops them working look at the sky it's like weather fronts and stuff like above us guy looks cold in his shorts going to that Ryanair flight I bet he does <laughs> <laughs> Ryanair Diver coming in, says Ian. Oh. Good info, Ian. Absolutely. Diverting. Um, so it was supposed to go to Dublin. Wow. That's quite that's, a far uh, diver. On the way into us. So that's number two to land behind this biz jet. Wonder why I didn't go to Liverpool. Maybe no stands, or maybe Liverpool's already been hit by it. The, obviously, the pilots have access to the Metars at the different airports. Probably looked at Manchester and went, that's quite pleasant compared to some of the other alternatives. Yeah, I see this biz jet coming in next. Okay, we've given ourselves a lot of work to do. 27 holographics have already sold today. Oh, my gosh. So, um, it was your idea, so uh, I'll let you pat on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you for all the support. Incredible uh, well, well, support. I'll, I'll do them and you'll do the... Uh, the nah, thing. nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. This is... Yeah, this is getting nuts. What the heck? It's just gone quiet. It just went like... This oh, is like them films... Where you're in the eye of the storm and you think, oh, everything's mint. Yeah, yeah, Then yeah, you exactly. come outside. Yeah. Put a brew on. I was, like, struggling to stand up for a second and it just turned off. So. Oof. We can see that right there behind as well. Oh, yes, this is the diver um, after this this uh, biz jet. Bit of a wobbly touchdown, but, uh, yeah, did a good job nonetheless. Uh, let's have a look to the skies. We can see this uh, diverted aircraft. Did it actually try to land at Dublin, or is it a? Um, it just didn't even. No, no, it didn't even bother. Okay. Oh, uh, Seville. So it literally, it flew over Dublin and just made a right hand turn and came to us. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then behind that is the uh, Turkish AC21 Neo. Okay. I'm just going to take this waterproofing off the screen because this is yet another thing that's becoming a bit of a kite. Have the travel mugs shipped yet? No, they haven't. However, I believe they um, have arrived at my house today. Um, so they will uh, probably begin shipping on Friday and Monday. Yes. So uh, for those who've pre-ordered travel mugs... Um, they will be shipping, and the price will be going up in the morning uh, on those, because there was a little pre-order special on those. So, for anyone waiting for their travel mug, should be with you next week, guys. Good job on the Ryanair. Made it look easy. Welcome to Dublin Airport. Oh, wait.
I still find that so strange to for like a pilot to jump on the uh, intercom and be like, yeah, we're actually going to Manchester instead, guys. Yeah, so in, in this situation, I guess, will they keep him in the airport for a little while or will they just try again tomorrow? Yeah, I don't know. Not so sure. It entirely depends on what's possible. Like, I suppose it needs to refuel, I guess, is probably, so maybe, yeah, disembarking needs to be done. They're taking off at Dublin, but nothing landing at the moment. Ah, right, so that makes sense. It's then. that bad. That must be really bad, then. If just nothing's landing. If only the RVP was open till 8. <laughs> I know. Well, I am tempted to go over and do some, some recording. Over on the other side. Mm. Easy, Jack. Departing out to Belfast, so they're gonna go and give it a go. Yeah. We saw those corrections being put in there as the winds hit the side of the aircraft. It might be a bit calmer over there by the time they get there, maybe. A321 short final. Getting blown around a bit as well. After a three and a half hour flight, it touches down from Istanbul. What a good landing that was. Yikes. That is wild. And Tom, thank you very much for the eight months of Airliners Live support. Say looking gusty. It certainly is. <laughs> BBC saying 45 mile an hour winds at Dublin. Ooh. Wow. What's the. Uh, anyone got the Dublin Meta? I'd love to know that. Because that is probably going to look nefarious if, the, you know, if they're not landing at all, for example. Yeah, I heard about that, Ian, on the radio this morning. That was pretty crazy, wasn't it? What's next? Mods, can we get rid of Malika? He's not stopped moaning the whole stream. If you want to come and have a go presenting Malika, feel free, dude. I'll uh, contact airlineslive.com, we'll get you booked in. <laughs> You said it, you literally typed that message about nine times already, mate. Got an easy jet coming in next, I think to Neo. In fact, I think it has the text on the side as well. Neo special scheme. And yeah, look at that crabbing going on. The fact that we can read that, uh, or not read it, but see that special decal on the side shows how much of a crab she's got going yikes them birds just yeeted right past them <laughs> about Mac 2 I think you see them on the camera as well doing a good job there. No stress. This is... This is properly windy now. Really blustery, isn't it? Yeah. 
This is the kind of wind that we just seasick in here. <laughs> 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 Literally, we are rocking like a boat. Hustle back. <laughs> Trying to add all these snacks, Nathan said. <laughs> that was it. It was a trap. <laughs> This is the kind of wind that if you put an umbrella up it, it just get ripped upside down straight away. Fred saying I landed uh, a very windy Leeds Bradford yesterday afternoon on Ryanair, still trying to straighten out my spine. Gosh. Jet 2 lining up to depart. Following that in from Antalya is a Boeing Dreamliner, which will be quite light. Whoa, okay. Okay. Good job, pilots. Bill Stewart's a nine months crew seat member. Thank you very much, mate. Welcome back for nine months today. We are on 39 new members of the channel. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, guys. 39 new members on today's stream. Here goes the 737 800 series. Jet 2. He does it. Yeah. And look at that big correction there as it catches the wind from the left hand side on that massive tail. And from one to another, we got the Tui. Is that Tui Dreamliner? It is. In from Antalya. Three hour, 58 minute flight. And obviously, these aircraft used on much longer flights, so it'd be relatively light landing into Manchester. Looks light, doesn't it? In terms of uh, baggage and things like that. Does it? That was so good. Beautiful. Yeah, really well done. Cheers, Julie. Glad you and the husband are enjoying the stream. Thank you very much. Debbie 13 just gifted an Airliners Live membership going Whoa. to Fred Flintstone. Eight. And Sandra also gifting an Airliners Live membership as well going to Jay the Chatter. Thank you very much, guys. Two brand new members to the channel, putting us to 41 new members on today's stream. If you are enjoying today's stream, gifting memberships is the best way to help the channel and give back to the community as well. And you can do that by clicking the dollar symbol and clicking gifted memberships. And next to land, we got an EasyJet in from Milan, which is at 1,500 feet. I'll take the waterproofing off. Don't think that's necessary at the moment. Stand by Lob it down to me if you want. Yeah. Yeah, that Dreamliner really kicking up some spray as a reverse thrust slowed the aircraft down. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I see the next arrival on final approach. Uh, si, all of these landings after uh, sort of 800 feet will be manual landings by, uh, by the crew. Yes. Michael That's Holland returning for 15 months. Uh, Freemium Economy saying first merch purchased. Great work. Thank you, Michael, and thanks for the long term support on your VAP membership as well. Thank you. The EasyJet departing, but we'll flick straight over to the arrival as it lifts off. That first one heading out to Belfast. And the arrival aircraft in from Milan. 3.7k on the viewership now. Welcome in, everybody. Lots into airliners live. Hope you're enjoying it. Live from Manchester Airport.
Great job again by the crew on board. That easy jet flight. As you can see, guys, the visibility is absolutely fantastic. Um, but the wind is really picking up. It is. And this easy jet getting blown side to side. And just at the last stages, the pilot's really settling it down. Ellis gifting an airliner's live membership. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. And Paul dropping five airliners live memberships to the community. Five brand new viewers getting a one month free trial of airliners live membership. That puts us to 47 brand new community members with a VIP membership today. Huge thank you, everybody. That's really kind. Apologies for all the camera shakes and things. Not much we can do about that today. Yeah. Well, fun fact about this camera, uh, it has built in what's called stabilization. So it actually uses like uh, electronics to keep the video nice and smooth and stuff to a degree. But when the camera is zooming, you can actually see that it disables temporarily. And that's why it goes wild when the camera is zooming because that's what the camera is actually doing. It's getting blown around like crazy. It is just getting smashed by this crazy gust all the time. I wonder if just for a laugh, just for like a quick minute, you just turn the stabilization off and just show people how, <laughs> how much work that camera's I, doing. I don't think, it, yeah, I don't think you can turn it fully off. But oh, can you not? You it's... can turn it off a bit. Off a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's the one that we are looking forward. We are massive Sony fans and we are looking forward to the brand new version of this camera. And I'm really hoping that Sony have addressed that. Yeah. Uh, if possible. I don't know if it's even possible to do that, but uh, that would be fantastic if they could fix that. I love Sony. Like, the look at the colours of this. Like, the, I don't know, just the... the, just the image quality overall quality. is just incredible, isn't it? Yeah, and obviously you guys watch it in 4K. I'm sure it looks great, but it looks so much better on when you record it as well, so... Kirsty as well just wants to give a massive shout-out to my Jet 2 team landing in these conditions across the country today, uh, but obviously all the airlines, but want to give my work a shout-out from Kirsty. so big up to all the Jet 2 pilots, hey. crew, and uh, staff today. We love Jet 2 here on the channel. It's always my go-to uh, holiday airline. And uh, Samuel, a brand-new Airliners Live viewer today. Thank you very much. And Paul Duffy... First time watching, brilliant lads. Thank you, Paul. Welcome to the community, mate. Dennis as well, another brand new viewer uh, enjoying the stream. Welcome, Dennis. Any other new viewers in the chat, feel free to get a hello, guys. We'd love to welcome you in. Next to land is a Ryanair aircraft from Bucharest. Uh, just seeing that now, picking it up in the sky. Again, look at that crab. That's even more than the last one. Sponsored by Sony. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wish. <laughs> Andy RC, is it an A1? We do have an A1 for photography, Andy, but no, we wouldn't put the A1 outside in uh, all weathers. Too much of a risk, mate. Yep. Yeah, we do love Sony, though. We've used them for a long time. Absolutely. Every camera we use on Airliners Live is a Sony camera. <laughs> Apart from Matt Cam Smith, but we won't talk about it. <laughs> That's what I love to see on streams like this. I know there'll be viewers in the chat going, oh, are we going to see any go-arounds and stuff? For me, I love seeing something like that. They were getting hammered on that arrival there, making awesome corrections, working the aircraft to get it down on the ground. What a mega, mega job from that Ryanair team. Yes. Love seeing that. 
10 out of 10. And Philip Worrell, a brand new airliner's live VIP to the community, welcoming. And Victor saying, I've never seen such clarity of an aviation picture. Great to watch. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Cheers, Victor. Great to have you with us in the community, mate. Prop time. Do we have a prop coming in? Cool. I was just thinking we do. that. Logan Air from the Isle of Man next to land. Oh my god, what a bumpy flight that's been. <laughs> I was just thinking that, like, surely a lot of these regional flights probably been cancelled today. Oh, there is a Ryanair taking off, we'll catch that first. A lot of power being used, getting her out nice and quick. This is weird how how sunny it's become. Look it's weird, isn't it? It's, like, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> yeah. Apart from the wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll have this. We we were all wrapped up ready for the rain, weren't we, mate? Exactly, yeah. We're still, still, you know, not putting our guard down. Yeah, these things, these ATRs, they do get blown around a lot, but they are proper tough cookies when it comes to oh, the wind. These and the Dash 8s when we used to see them regularly. I'm telling you now, some of my best fun in flights in was in a Dash 8 in windy conditions. Because them things, mate, you can just throw them around. Yeah. And they're, they're so good. Yeah. Let's see. Mega job. And one of the things, guys, with these ATRs is the size of the tail. They're absolutely huge and they catch the wind really easy. In proportion to the body, they do have a very big tail. So uh, it does make it a little bit more difficult in windier conditions, but an absolutely mega job again from the crew on board this Logan Air from the Isle of Man. That was a spectacle right there. Prop yeah. squad in the chat. Thank yeah. you, guys. Let's blur them props, shall we? And Andy Baker just upgraded his membership to crew seat. What a legend. Thank you, Andy. Amazing. I could see another plane on approach as well. Guys, can we hit 4,000 members on today's stream? 4,900, 3,900 tuning in now. Yeah, stick around. Hit the like button if you want to help out. Oh, is that a E145? Embryo on the way in, mate. Yeah, wow. If you are loving today's stream, please, guys, hit the like button on YouTube. That will tell YouTube that you're having a great time and they'll recommend the stream to more people. Can we hit 4,000 members? Share the stream, send it to your friends, send them a WhatsApp message. Let's get as many people in here as we can today to enjoy the awesome aviation on display at Manchester Airport. Live from the Runway Visitor Park. This is uh, probably one of the smallest jet airliners you'll see at Manchester. Another Logan Air. Really getting a crab on, isn't it? Honestly. I get got a settled. Easy nicely. peasy, squeezy lemons. <laughs> no stress. Settled down nicely at the end there.
following that in is a KLM from Amsterdam, 737-800. And the aircraft just touched down, an Embraer 145 in from Aberdeen. Yeah, doing a great job. Really good, wasn't it, chat, that one? EasyJet lining up Juliet 1 down at the end. Oh, heading they're out get, to Mykonos. They're going to get her out first. Yep. Let's uh, have a look at that KLM again. Just gauge the uh, the winds. That's fine with the, uh, the Boeing airliners. They, they pulled the autopilot out a little bit earlier to get a feel for the aircraft. As you've got that more direct control of the aircraft, whereas with the uh, with the uh, Airbus, it's all you know fly-by-wire control, not as responsive. As a result, crosswind at 18 knots now really picked up. That's doubled, guys, in the last half an hour. Mate, this KLM short final as well. We're gonna whip across to that. Yeah, he's in a hurry anyway. Hey, welcome in, Amatreen. Hello. Bad that there's still liquid on the runway there. It was raining for the first sort of two hours of the show. A lot of runway being used there. Some really good landing so far. Yeah, it's been great to see. We got another BizJet in next from Rostock. Netsjets Europe 560XL Citation. Oh, yeah. A little BizJet on the way in. That sky looking very nice. We do have another Tui Dreamliner, guys, on the way in from Rhodes. All right. So uh, that'll be with us in a couple of minutes. And uh, a Ryanair in from Cologne as well. There's the BizJet. Final approach. Still a pretty consistent crosswind here at the airport. As you can see, getting blown around a lot. Yeah, Dutch Pride coming in uh, just before this from uh, Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. Let's take a look. <laughs> this is nuts. Top landing for the pilots again. Made it look easy. Really, really good job. Looking really nice in the light. Welcome back, Owen. Great to see you, mate. Feels a lot later than it actually is because of how like low the sun is. Yeah. Days getting shorter and all that. The lighting's beautiful now. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I left my camera at work because I just thought, oh, it's, we're going to be absolutely wet through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good for video at least. Mm -hmm. Citation next in. Little BizJet going to be using the uh, signature aviation terminal. Private executive hangar.
really nicely done. Got a Jet 2 on the taxi out as well. What's this? An A321 Neo. Nice. Coming out, the first to be delivered at the airline. November Bravo on the reg. Look at that light. It's very pretty. Ben saying, don't speak too soon. Heavy rain on the radar heading east. No. Keep it there, Ben. No. No, don't want it. Nothing visible yet, but yeah. <laughs> we have planned for it, though, don't worry. Yeah, we're prepared. But if we get rain paired with this wind, <laughs> it's not going to be pretty, guys. Days. We're going to get blown over here. Some serious buffeting going on here in the tower. Is only ginger biscuits? <laughs> Tom and Ann gifting five Airliners Live memberships to the community. Let's go, Tom and Ann. Wow. Thank you very much, guys. Awesome amount of support, putting us to 53 new members on today's stream. Thank you guys. 53 new members. Incredible. Thanks very much for the five. Got to get that lens flare, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Michael Bay film. It's one thing my inspection thing in place. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. said I'll just be checking for any debris on the runway or anything like that and obviously in these winds they're checking to make sure nothing's blown onto the runway so they do these inspections as a matter of uh, form anyway but uh, they'll be looking for anything that could affect the aircraft landing or departing Aircraft on the taxi out, easy jet this time. Oh, this is this is uh, this is bonkers. That easy jet heading out to Athens, and Sandra gifting an airliners live membership. Thank you very much, Sandra. Putting us to 54 new members today. Thanks very much for that. How does the Metar say this is 10 knots? It's so wrong, mate. That the is... Metars at Manchester are. I don't know how it happens. Like, how is this 10 knots? And it's not just the, the, like, all different websites are saying the same thing. You should turn the little task one on uh, over there. Oh, yeah, let me have a look at that. Yeah, little John tap. Gilbert just gifted an Airliners Live membership as well. Let's go, John. Thank you, mate. Let me have a look at this. I've never used this we, before. Yeah, we do, we do have an anemometer here, which I think does say wind speed. Direction and stuff. So it might be a more accurate representation. Cap Captain Mark did say he had a theory that um, the anemometer here at uh, Manchester Airport is not out in the open, so it doesn't actually get a true reading. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I really don't know. Because we, we, we regularly find that it'll say on the meta, like, it's like... Because 10 knots, that's like a breeze. That's like a bit of a strong breeze. It's not wind. <laughs> it's not windy. But then you look at this stream and you see the wind socks at full whack and mm. planes get blown all over the place. It's in metres per second, hold on. Maybe someone can uh, do a bit of conversion there. I think when it be in an airport, it'd be set to uh, knots. Here goes the Jet 2 A321neo taking off in these crazy winds. Lovely lighting as well. Yeah, this is in meters per second, this. Okay, I guess we can convert it, right? Yeah, so nine meters per second is the average. If someone wants to do some quick maths. Yeah, I'm very curious. Who's, uh, will who's it be, good at maths in the chat? Will it, will it be ten knots? That's the question. 
That's if it is. Yeah. And mean, we just don't know anything about wind. God, that would be... That'd be a bit embarrassing. Not great. Right? But that also would be just like... Just straight up proof that it's wrong here if, if it is. Your head's blocking it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll use that excuse. Next to land Ryanair in from Cologne. Seventeen and a half. There you go. Okay, it's just not, not crazy numbers, but I mean Yeah. Easy done on the Ryanair as Martin Davidson gifts five airliners live memberships to the community. Thank you, mate. That's incredible. Putting us to 60 new members on today's show. 60 new members. Oof. Basically double the reading. Ah, okay, nice one here. Okay, mate. Ah, there you go. Hey, there you go. I can do that one. You can keep an eye on it then. And... I will, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, got you. Okay. So is that double it for knots or double it for miles an hour, guys? Thank you again for the five gifted memberships. Cheers, everyone. Plenty of brand new viewers getting a chance to use those emotes in the chat because of the generosity of the community. Thank you, guys. So that's the average. Is there like such thing as like a peak on that? Like it shows the gust and the average. Ah, okay. Yeah. And it, I guess the average is relatively short because it's changing every few seconds. Yeah. And what's the gust then? Is that a bigger number? Is it? Yeah. So the gust was um, a second ago. Um, Eight and a half meters per second, but it's just gone up to nine point three. Then okay. that gust that just happened. Then cool. <sighs> Another easy jet taking off. I think Captain Mark's running a bit late as well. If people want to keep that uh, mods, do you have the reg of the aircraft? Are you alone in the RVP? No, there's a few crazy spotters out with us. <laughs> a few lunatics. One knot is 0 0.51 meters per second. Right, Roger, Dodger. Cheers, guys. Learned something new today. Dreamliner visible on approach. Oh, yeah. Wow. Is that 7.6, isn't it? Is it? Sorry, I, uh, it is. You're right. I just I just looked at the TV and just assumed Dreamliner. Yeah. Oh, they're not going to struggle, then, are they? Absolutely no stress whatsoever. Our fans are just saying that Mark's now taxiing, so yeah, from Venice. <laughs> no chance he'll be here before. No. The RVP closes, sadly. I wonder how windy it'll be when he arrives. Loopy saying 1.9 thousand likes on YouTube. Guys, we're super close to 2K. If you want to hit that like button on YouTube, if you haven't already. It really does help out the stream a lot, and it's a nice free way to support the channel. How fast does the wind have to be to stop the planes from landing? Uh, Fezzer will put the exact numbers in the chat. It differs between aircraft. It's not the same for uh, every aircraft, guys. So there'll be a certain crosswind that each aircraft type is rated for. Arriving in the sunshine, the Tui. 767. And it's not uh, confirmed how long we'll be seeing these for, but it's not too much longer, we believe. Yeah, it's been a bit of 
inside leaks, hasn't there, about mm. they might be going soon. Duncan, we don't uh, do Mac Cam on the midweeks, but we had to order a new battery pack. It seemed like both the batteries have gone faulty, and yeah. we're not uh, entirely sure why. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah, they're not cheap either, but uh, they are good. They, they've lasted a while, and they, you know, they do their their bit. Last a good few shows each as well. Yeah, we had a look at the plate. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that. Nothing lodged inside it or anything like that. So we've ordered another battery and just going to give it a test. And we ordered a bit of a cheaper one just to just to do a test with. EasyJet lined up on the runway to depart. That's heading out to Athens. Yeah, this is weird. How the wind just goes from like just shaking the tower because it's so gusty and then it kind of goes Does quiet. Nothing. So it was at 10 before metres per second. It's now at three and a half. What? Isn't three it strange how it, it changes so rapidly? Wow. Hey Barbara, good morning. Thanks very much for tuning in today. You're tuning in at just the right time, Barbara, because it's getting pretty crazy on the old wind here at Manchester. Yeah, and the visibility's opened up a lot because uh, it was raining for the first few hours of the show, and now it's uh, stopped, which is nice. Gives us a break. <laughs> we are dressed and prepared for the heavy rain. Wow, that was a big one. Let me just uh, adjust the mic real quick as well. Just keep an eye on your brace behind Jandy on that door. Just double check it every Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very solid. Health and safety, you know what I mean? <laughs> Here we go. And gorgeous lighting as well, by the way. The engine's lit up nicely. I think a Ryanair's going to go out next after this easy jet. Yeah, for those just tuning in, we are expecting a storm today. Uh, I forget the name now. Agnes. Agnes, that's it. And uh, that's coming in from the west, sorry, the east. West, no, west, west, sorry. Yes, and it's coming from the Atlantic. It's already hit Ireland, and uh, like Dublin Airport had major disruptions because of it. Uh, it seems to have arrived here in Britain, and it's now... Uh, here in Manchester somewhat. It's weird though, because it just goes from like really, really crazy winds to to nothing and then back it's up and down. Yeah, it's very much variable at the moment. Yeah, for we'll sure. Keep an eye on it. And uh, Barbara, thank you very much. Returning for six months, half a year of support on the channel, saying de delighted to be a part of this channel and the Facebook group. Keep up the good work and keep safe from Barbara. Thank you very much for that. Oh yeah, seeing that you got uh, yourself logged into the VIP lounge. So Amazing. It's good having you there. Jen's mum saying it's getting blustery in Anglesey now. So oh we'll yeah. Keep an eye on that, Jen. Yeah, I just looked at windy at the the old radar view and uh, or the you know the, the the gust view. Yeah. And yeah, it's still picking up and it's still moving more and more into the Manchester area. And Gel Davies, a brand new business class VIP. Thank you very much supporting the channel today. Enjoy that discounted merchandise and your member 61 today. And Ryan uh, departing out uh, to Porto. And next to land, um, in a couple of minutes' time, will be the Ryanair in from Malaga. As uh, Laurie just uh, gets blown into the chat. <laughs> Welcome in, Laurie. Hope you're doing well. And Sai G, thank you very much for supporting the channel today uh, with a £2 super chat. 
Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. That helps the channel a lot, too. Thank you. Look at crabbing on the departure. That's pretty wacky looking. Just smashed through 2,000 likes as well. Thank you, guys. Oh, nice. Thank you all. Yeah, that uh, aircraft having to point the nose towards the left to keep on track with the departure. Staying uh, on course from the runway heading. Uh, there is the British Airways that came in earlier. That is now on the move. RAF Valley gust in 44 knots. What? 44 knots? That is nuts. Isn't Mate, it? That's, that's more. When I went to Heathrow, I think that was gusting 42, I think, when mm -hmm. I went to Heathrow, and that was just like utter chaos. Mate, can you imagine? 44. How it would be in here at 44 knots. Oh, my gosh. I, that sounds like that's heading our way as well. Yeah. But I don't know how long that's going to take to get here. <laughs> 44 knots. Mate, that's scary. That is scary. That is like Storm Eunice levels. British Airways on the taxi out in the Ryanair. Uh, is now visible a little way out. Visibility is great at the moment, folks. Very lucky. We want for the wind. It'd be quite a nice day. <laughs> it would, yeah. <laughs> pleasant evening. But like you said, it, it actually looks pleasant. <laughs> mm. People tuning in like, wow, that looks really nice. <laughs> Storm in the title and they're tuning in like, these guys for real. Well, yeah, storms are different here, aren't they? Hey, and Paul uh, Kennedy, thank you very much, mate. £10 donation. Slap to tenor in for you guys. Great stream as always. Hey, Paul, thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate the £10 donation. Hope you're enjoying the stream as well. Legend. Yeah, this is just our regular streaming time as well. It's actually the last midweek show that goes into the, the, uh, the late afternoon. Um, and as of next week, sadly, we'll be back to uh, an earlier start and an yeah. earlier finish. But... We'll be finishing two hours ago, guys. What a shame. Two hours ago, we'll have finished the show. Yeah. But, um, it's been great through the summer season. It really, really has. And we can't wait now to get back and, uh, and do it. But we'll definitely be doing some bonus evening shows for you uh, guys in the States, 100%. So make sure you're following us on, uh, on social media and everything like that. Because... <laughs> Barbara, Barbara, dropping a hundred dollar donation for the channel. Get some airliners live. Love in the chat for an insane amount of support. Saying here to support your channel. Uh, you're, you are amazingly kind, and I enjoy you all. Thank you, Barbara. As are you, Barbara. You, your support this year to our channel has been uh, absolutely incredible. Thank you very, very much. And uh, I hope we can bring some shows for you, Barbara, in your time zone over the winter as well. Really yeah. appreciate that. We'll do our best. Obviously, bear in mind, the days get really short as well here. Mm. It literally goes dark at like 4pm in the middle of winter. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Pretty rough. <laughs> right, now doing a good job there. 737. It's crosswind on the uh, wind hit in Manchester at the moment. It's crazy, isn't it? Like, yeah, you look at that windsock over there, just straight across the runway, which just makes it a bit of a nightmare for the airliners coming in. But they're coping well so far. Absolutely. Easy peasy. Have a look on radar. I've got the British Airways next to go out back to London Heathrow Airport. We've got a Sun Express uh, just about to enter a base like in from Antalya. That's a 737 800 and uh, making space for it as a Ryanair in from Alicante. And uh, that'll be uh, second to land by the looks of it. Oh, 
also an easy jet on the taxi out too. Yeah, Marvin, the thing is, I would love to do evening shows, but the only place for them really is Southside, and Manchester Airport Southside at night is not <laughs> really uh, where you want to be. Yeah. Barbara gifting five Airliners Live memberships following that huge donation as well. Thank you very, very much, putting us to 66 brand new members on today's show. Thank you very much, Barbara. Wind's definitely settled down for the time being. Yeah. But don't go anywhere, folks, because you've seen, whilst we've been live today, how quickly it can whip back up. Yeah, I am curious how it's going to end. Love and the lighting, though. BA's rolling. there the wind it is keeps uh, keeps whacking it doesn't it every now and again <laughs> yes 16 mile an hour winds at the moment so nothing too crazy but it's the gusts you've got to watch out for they're the ones that will uh, cause an aircraft to go around if it catches them a little bit by surprise so hey, express Erica as well sorry Andy yeah so express just turned on to uh Final, you can just see that on the picture there, which is super hard to keep in shot with these winds. <laughs> there you go. Cheers, Andy, as well. Appreciate that, mate. Welcome in, guys. If you're just getting in from work in the UK, hope you've all had a great day so far. Where are you spotting from? We're at the Manchester Airport Runway Visitor Park, publicly accessible location where you can just watch the planes. And uh, Peter, returning for 11 months of Airliners Live membership, saying wishing you all the best. Thank you, Peter. Same to you, mate. And uh, only one month to go until you get your red tail badge. Hey. Links are in the chat if any of you guys would like to come down and visit the Runway Visitor Park. All the information can be found on their website. Amazing camera work. Thank you, your aviation guy. Cheers, dude. It's definitely nowhere near as good as it usually is. <laughs> it's as good as it can be, I think, mate. Yeah. A lot of what you're seeing is the actual tower shaking and the tripod that the camera's on. The camera itself just getting slapped by these winds. And uh, Marvin saying, what's the normal working times in the UK? Yeah, so it kind of varies 9 to 5 or 9 till 5.30 is quite a normal... Uh, time for for people to be finishing work. Yep. And Jason Lane saying, new to this channel, looking good so far. Welcome in. Another aircraft just flying onto final approach as well behind the Sun Express. We're stuck with the uh, the Turkish carrier though. Yeah. So the new the uh, times we're going to aim. I mean. We'll say we'll start at 10 uh, on the midweeks, but it might be earlier. You know, like how we've done with the the Sunday shows as well, where typically we'll just start a bit earlier. We shall see. <laughs> Tom and Anne saying, we are thinking of going down on Sunday if we can find it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck, guys. Yeah, it'll be Andy and uh, Matt hosting Sunday's show because I'll be with Mrs. Airliners Live. It's her birthday weekend. Oh, yeah. So, uh, we celebrate Jen's birthday. So, I'll be seeing you guys again on the uh, midweek show next week. There we go. So, the Express about to touch down. I'm loving this lighting. This is a nice send-off for the evening shows. Absolutely. And Debbie13 returning to Airliners Live, uh, sorry, gifting an Airliners Live 
membership today. Thank you very much, Debbie. Really appreciate your support to the channel, putting us to 67 new members on today's show. There's that Sun Express coming in a little bit quicker. I'm touching down on 2 3 right. It's looking a bit plain, this livery. It's like a half Sun Express livery. It's quite a few decals missing. We do love the Sun Express colours on this channel. This one looking a bit half a job. No paint on the engines. And Barbara again gifting another five airliners live memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Barbara. Supporting the channel, putting oh. us to 72 new members today. Guys, the support today has been absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, everyone. What We're legend. really going to miss these midweeks. I love the evening midweeks so much. Yeah, thank you so much, Barbara. And uh, I did just quickly glance over uh, for her, for the uh, the prop. And we have this Logan there on the ground at the moment. As you can see, passengers just getting on board now. I don't think the turnaround process will be too long from here. So we should see... Um, this ATR 72 departs soon. Ryanair 737 next in though. Contending with that crosswind. Entering the light as well. Look at that. Looks great. Lots of sun here at Manchester at the moment. Don't say that very often. Welcome, Peter. Tuning in from Kentucky, USA. Amazing. Great to have you with us. Nice big engines on the leap. Oh, sorry, the nice big leap 1B engines on the Ryanair 737 Max 8200. Looking gorgeous in the light. Them fan blades lit up in the evening sunlight. Sun's like going to set behind the Concorde hangar here. Look at that. Seen it bad before, eh? Baking for some really good uh, lighting for the arrivals. Let's have a look at this wind sock as well while we're here. Still pretty windy. <laughs> no disputing that. There is an Air France A319 on final approach, and that's followed by another Sun Express and potentially another Ryanair coming in from Dublin, actually, which is an airport that's been hit pretty hard by this storm. Not too far out, we also have the Lufthansa A319 
19 in the Star Alliance, a special scheme as well. And a huge thanks to Colin for sending in a £5 Kofi donation to the channel, saying great work. Thank you very much, uh, Colin. Appreciate that. Very kind. The gear not down yet on this A319. Yeah, usually we're seeing the A220s on the uh, fronts. But uh, nice to see something different today. But appreciate that, Colin. Thanks for uh, firing across the Kofi donation. Well, supporting the channel. There goes the landing gear being lowered. The wind picking back up again as well. Yeah, wind back up to towards 20 miles an hour now. A319 has quite a lot of power for the size of it. Same engines as the A320. Captain Mark calls it the sporty bus. Yeah. As it handles really nicely, flies really nicely. RAF Valley now guffed in 50 knots. Oh, what is oh, that? Oh, gosh. Yikes. I'll have to ring my nan after and make sure our house is still there. <laughs> Bit of a Wizard of Oz situation. All, right. All that's left is her slippers. <laughs> wow, that is really getting battered then. I wonder how intense it's going to get here later on. It's apparently going to get windier as, as it goes into night. We'll see. Take care, Barbara. Thanks so much for getting up and supporting the channel today. That's very kind of you. Thanks for that. We'll hopefully catch you in a few future streams soon. Thanks very much. Nicely done. Coming in from Paris, Charles de Gaulle Airport. A319 this time. It's quite uncommon to see these on the streams with Air France. I think we do prefer to see the A220s. They also just look nicer in the Air France scheme. This one looks okay, I guess. Yeah, Captain Mark is flying again. I think his, his aircraft is running pretty late, sadly. Um, he was initially due to land during the hours of the live show. Um, and uh, now uh, I think it's going to be a bit later than that. One of these aircraft has its beacon on. I think it's the ATR. Uh, should start the pushback soon. It's hard to see on the camera. But it looks like it's ready to go. Okay, perfect, Barbara. No worries. Grab yourself a nice cup of tea, Barbara. Settle down then. Live for another, well, probably another 45 minutes or so. It's gone so fast today. It has, yeah. Really, really has, man. I'd love to do another couple of hours. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be flying peacocks, doesn't it? Oh, there's an aircraft taking off as well. It's a Jet 2. 7-3 out and out to Kos. And the aircraft landing is the Sun Express from Dalaman.
Here she comes. I thought I seen the beacon light. I think, yeah, I think there is a beacon light on one of one of the Logan Airs. It might actually be the Embraer behind. That'd be a really quick turnaround, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, but I do think it is the, the ATR actually. Clive, mate, I would stay, dude. The the RVP closes. That's the problem. We we have to leave because where we're streaming from closes at six p.m. Yeah, we'll we'll stay as late as possible. Oh my gosh, what a smooth landing that was. was great the light just catching the spray there really nicely as well yeah I've been treated haven't we for this last show yeah see that that's definitely got some lights on it so the right hand engine started as well nice Father's gifted another five Memberships to the community. Wow. So much love coming in from Barbara today. Putting us to 77 new members on today's show. That's loads. 77 new members. Thanks so much, guys, for all the support today. All the viewership as well. The viewing figures have been phenomenal today. Really giving the show a good send-off. Well over 3,000 live viewers all the way through today's show. Thank you, everyone. We'll keep the flash sail running as well for the 757 holographic displays until the end of the day. So if you haven't had a chance to get one yet, we'll keep that going uh, as we're celebrating uh, 757,000 subscribers on YouTube. Do you guys plan to stream from the pub in the future? Well, we've tried, Andy. Uh, the old management of the pub worked with us and we streamed a lot from there. Uh, but the new management don't seem interested at all. In fact, they've e ignored all of our emails and phone calls. We've not had a phone call back, an email back. Well, we've sent quite a few now, so we've we've given up, mate, unfortunately. It seems they're just not interested, which is fair enough, but yeah. it's certainly a shame because we did stream from there and do a lot of advertising for the old management, which uh, which was a great relationship to have, but these things happen, things come under new management, things change, and to be fair, they, they are extremely busy, so it is what it is, but we love it here at the RVP, we probably get just as good of a view here at the RVP than we do anywhere else around the airport. Ryan Air Max touching down from Dublin. But that was an interesting flight. <laughs> yeah. Not many planes vacating in front of us. A lot of them using a lot more runway to stop. Joanna. Wow. Oh, with a 10 airliners live gifted memberships coming in from long term viewer Joanna Smith. Thank what you legend. very much for that. What an incredible amount of support coming in there, putting us to 87 new members on today's show. What a crazy number. Thanks, Joanna. 10 gifted memberships coming in. Let's get some love in the chat for everyone watching and tuning in and supporting today. Thank you, Joanna. It's always a pleasure seeing you in the chat and at the task fairs and, and yeah, a huge amount of support as well. 
Next in, A319 from Geneva. That ATR is pushing back finally. Nice. And there is a Jet 2737 on the go. Nice, tidy bit of action coming up for you guys. That's correct, Joe. Yeah, it's completely random, mate. Completely random. Yeah. Gorgeous light. It's perfect angle as well. As the sun sets here at Manchester Airport. That Matt Smith's kicking himself. Honestly, yeah. Could have been down here with your camera, Matty boy. I guess the only saving grace is nothing's really vacated. No. <laughs> Literally, I don't think anything has in the last hour in front of us. Since the sun's come out. This looks promising, though. There's an easy jet. Next to land in from Lisbon. Wonderful. Yes. And uh, there is another uh, Tui 767 from Paphos, only 10 minutes away. So another heavy uh, arrival coming in very shortly. That lighting on this. Thanks, Rachel. Great to have you with us. Thanks for the love coming in from Paris, France. Really appreciate that. So you guys do a lovely job and thanks for your content. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much for that. No, we've not had any go-arounds today so far. Yeah. Pilot's doing an awesome job. Yeah, allegedly there was one before the stream started. There's been some really, really good landings. And an easy jet next to land and lining up behind it in the Star Alliance scheme is the A319 Lufthansa from Munich. This is so pretty, this lighting. I love it. This paired with the crazy winds. What a show. Hey up, Mr. Pingu. Nice to see you today. To the top landing from an A320 Neo. That sun is warm as well. It's nice. <laughs> if you are new as well, folks, we stream every Wednesday and Sunday here from Manchester Airport regularly. We've just announced today that this Friday will be uh, a semi-regular show as well from Manchester. And also on Saturdays from 7 a, uh, sorry, seven p.m. UK time, uh, we have a stream from Vancouver, Canada. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell icon. You can set that to all to get notifications when we do go live, so you're not going to miss one. Wow, that's pretty. The 
sun's going to set behind the uh, Concord hangar soon for us at the RVP. Uh, we've not got any more planned at the moment, Martin, though. The last roll took quite a, quite a long time to sell, mate, so I think um, every, most people have, have got one at the moment. Um, but if you're after one, mate, drop me a message, drop us an email, because uh, we may have a couple left. Yeah, and, and also, guys, if you're outside of the UK, uh, we now do international shipping on the website. So any product you want and you're outside the UK, have a look. Uh, the shipping might not be that much for you guys. And Mr. Pingu dropping 10 gifted memberships to the community. Thank you very much, Mr. Pingu. That's very kind of you, putting us to 97 new members on today's stream. Mr. Pingu dropping the 10 long-term viewer and supporter of the channel. Make sure you drop a thank you in the chat if you just received one of those gifted memberships. Wow. Amazing. Thank you, Mr. Pingu. That's very kind of you. Lufthansa Special about to touch down as well after this Logan Air departs. Oh, yeah, it's the ATR 72. See this guy, will probably get up quite quick as well. Yeah, I'll record this. to the right Andy just keep looking forward mate don't need to look to the right hand side nothing yikes. to see there whatsoever yikes <laughs> yeah, you know that rain guys <laughs> we were looking for that uh, is... I think we may have found it. <laughs> well that's where the sun's gone I wonder if that's going to bring a lot of wind with it as well Maybe that is the storm. The A319 has done a go around. Making I'm... a left hand turn, which is. That's weird, isn't irregular, it? Irregular, isn't it? Yeah. Usually they would make a right hand turn. Oh, the wind's picking up. I can feel it. Off it goes. A319, first go around of the stream. Catching a gust there on short final as Paul Kennedy gifts five airliners live memberships today. Memberships popping off, putting us to 102 gifted memberships of today's channel. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, Paul. That was weird. I, I did not expect that. It, no, was, it seemed really stable, didn't it? It was so majestic how it, how it did the go around as well. It was just so smooth. A little bit unstable. Yeah, this wind's just gone up again. Maybe the Lufthansa felt the effects of that. Look at that storm front coming in. Storm avoidance, left-hand turn, says Paul. Eef, mate, that is a scary-looking weather front, that. Look at that there, just behind the aviation shop. Look how wonky them clouds look, mate. That is strange, that. that it's so low. Oh, oh. See, like, you look at them hills over there, and it's just like... They're having the time of their life. That was us before. Wow, them clouds are weird, mate. Yeah. Rolling in. Crazy storm. About to hit Manchester Airport. 757 on the taxi out. 2767 on the approach as well. It's nice knowing you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, that's I've never seen that before. Making the left hand turn. I think it's by now out of Barcelona. I can still see that lofty in the air as well. Yeah, there you go, there's the, the Lufthansa. I think still flying that uh that oh, it's really getting blown around that right now, mate. Was it? Oh wow, yeah, yeah, I see that. Oh my gosh, that is a scary looking departure, isn't it? Yeah. Just into the soup. Man, these clouds are looking nasty now, folks. That look at that, like yikes! Take cover, <laughs> everybody in. Seven three really giving a good climb rate there on the departure as well. I wonder if they're trying to climb above something there, or because they don't usually rotate off that quick. Oh, they seem to be leveling out now. It's got dark as well. Yeah, I would not like to be climbing into those clouds. Look at this 767 crabbing it all the way in. Look. saying it just got incredibly windy in Stockport. Oh, no. I'm not surprised, mate, looking at this. Not surprised in the slightest. Yeah, that's pretty close to here. the radar shall we we have got a Ryanair on final approach where's that Lufthansa he's right now mate he's sinking back in yeah because they had a Ryanair on approach and then it's slotting in behind him got you Oops. so uh, just on the downwind but it's pretty much ready to make that left turn onto the base like uh, his wind is pretty gnarly now yeah <laughs> it's just come back with a vengeance Right there next to land from Vienna. Two and a half thousand feet, so a little way out here. Where's the plane taking off? Let's have a look at this uh, climb.
Yeah, that crab already to the left. It looks like it's making a left turn, but it's not. It's just trying to compensate for that crosswind. Trying to keep the plane flying in a straight line. There's the next arrival coming in. That's the Ryanair flight. How is that uh, the anatomy to look at? Mate, this is looking pretty chill, to be honest. Is it? It's just still about 20, is it? Um, like six and a half metres per second average. <laughs> Reported wind speed now 35 knots. I mean, why is no equipment telling us this? Weird, isn't it? 757, that's what you want to be in right now. Yeah, this will have no trouble getting out. Compared to the background. Weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's gone very, very dark as well. It's really dark, yeah. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> so much brighter on the video but it's really dark here it is isn't it yeah again a quick climb right quick climb on the uh, right end there Apparently, than what we were getting before. That's not right, though, is it? No. And Jinji3, thank you very much for a premium economy membership, brand new member, number 114. Really appreciate that, thanks very much.
descended into darkness here at the at the runway visitor park. That glorious light that we had it was short lived. <laughs> Hope you nailed down. Yeah, it's pretty pretty wild. Michael Curtis, premium economy member. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Thank you, Michael. job that time round. To be fair, the first time round they were doing a really good job. Something must have upset the plane enough to warrant the go-around. It was probably the most majestic go-around I've ever seen. Just hide in the RVV. <laughs> I know. I really wish we could stay later. But um, it is what it is, guys. There does seem to be an event on which looks no way near ready to pack up, but yeah, well, it's just not right, you know, if the public needs to go, then, then we need to go, it's only fair, isn't it? There's another arrival coming in. Easy jet. A319 from Venice, is this? That's not Captain Mark, is it? No. No. Yeah, they got two two takeoffs. Sorry, two two approaches for the price of one. On the left hand side. Annika, thank you very much. You've just gifted an airliner's live membership as well to the community today putting us to 106 new members on today's stream. Thank you very much. What a crazy number. Last 10 minutes or so with the stream, guys. Last 10 minutes, make the most of it. Easy Jack, next to land, day 319. aircraft going to take off shortly. Noel says I've got sweaty palms just watching that. <laughs> yeah, 
that was a bit a bit ropey. It's a yeah, two E smart links out next. Uh, we'll say three twenty. Just for the joke. Yeah, you would have got it when it took off at like four miles an hour earlier on. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, it's not due till 7 p.m. Terry Edwards saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, he's on the way in from Venice. Right, uh, Max next to land. And yeah, we've got the. A330 with Jet 2 coming in soon. A beautiful uh, world to fly scheme. Which uh, I don't know how much longer that's going to be around. I actually spoke to the world to fly pilots about it. I think they said sometime in October their contract terminates.
for once. It's a nice change. Visual of the next lander. Power shaking. today's show all the gifted memberships the viewerships the likes everyone getting involved in the chat really appreciate it guys thank you so much
absolutely bonkers. Those corrections. Wow. Those corrections. The light as well. Look at this. Got a rainbow as well. <laughs> oh, I want to stay all night, me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Those last minute nose up corrections there from that. Nuts. Guys. Here we go. Now we're into the winter season. On Airliners Live. Thanks for all the viewership, all the support, the likes, the comments. What a crazy, crazy show, mate. That was amazing. Thank you all for tuning in. We're going to have to run. We, we have to get all this packed up, guys, and uh, get out of here for the guys at 6 o'clock. But from all of us at Airliners Live, all the mods doing a mega, mega job. And uh, for the RVP staff for the summer season as well. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll put an announcement out with the new show times this week ready for next week so we'll hopefully see you in there guys and uh, thanks very much for tuning in and we'll see you all uh, on Sunday take care see ya and uh, Herbert thanks for the three euro right at the end there mate legend cheers mate take care it's off thank you